based after dark. Thank you all for watching the Based After Dark podcast. If you enjoyed this show, then you can support us further by subscribing to our Patreon that offers three different tiers. That will be linked in the description down below. Welcome to Based After Dark episode number 40. I want to start by shouting out all the patrons. Thank you for feeding Cuniques. Oh, my camera's here now. Thank you for feeding Cuniques. On today's episode, we have myself, Prison Joe, Mr. Ignoble Solid, Mr. Hamzy underscore URL, <laughs> Mr. T Papa Slice, and our special guest, the big, large, beautiful Mr. Beggar Official. How are you doing? That's me. Good to good to be here. Thanks for having me. Were you write yes, my sir. intro? How was that? Was my intro good? What do you think? That was a that was a solid like nine out of ten. Thanks. Better than ignoble. I took away. All I, I took away know. a point. So that was that was good though. That's fucked up, dude. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Well, me I, I don't I, last I, week, right? I'd give but you were... an eight. You know, don't don't let it get to his head. Don't don't don't, don't praise him too much. You got, you got to neg him a little bit. No, I know <laughs> what Seth's capable of. That was a seven. Seth can do a ten. Like Seth can, you know, he can really get in there. I mean, I could have turned on the like the. I could start yelling. Yeah, and I stuff, mean, but that'd be good yeah, so yeah, much. yeah. I mean, it's been a week. You can give us a ten. No, go go ahead and give us a ten. Like, <laughs> what does a ten sound like? Last week, a ten. Ladies and ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. Here, here we go. go. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We knew you had it. Seth's got a couple more points to get. That's not his ceiling. Uh, <laughs> Bodie on. Maybe we have Bodie on. Sorry, beggar. Oh yeah, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Man, uh, War warming up. Last week, I had a 9 a.m. meeting the other day that I had to work all day for. I was literally in my office, fucking writing and working and working, and I saw it was like 11 p.m. I'm like, I hope these guys have a good cast. I, did you listen to the cast? It was a good cast. Mr. Rigandale was a he was a good guest. I did enjoy it. I haven't listened to it yet, but it was, fan. It was will, good. Uh, Especially did, the part, you, wait, the part about too. the Mormons. You know, I'm, I'm, it was my birthday. I had a better excuse than you. What? So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that means <laughs> that means I'm back on top for most appearances. I'm now one ahead of Prison Joe. We are. Uh, is, that, is that is that factual? Yeah. No. I'm. I like you and I. Like you and I dominate everyone else essentially. And yeah, that's really I, we're work only, thing, I think. we're only one, <laughs> we're only one apart from each other. The, and the, the only separation is your birthday. So like, I don't know. I'm sure we'll be tied again soon. So Seth, what did you, what'd you do for your birthday? I went live on Twitch and got fucked up and had a good time with my community. And it was an absolutely outstanding birthday. And thank you for everybody who bought me lobsters in old school RuneScape. We actually raised the price of lobsters over a three day span by, I think 25% on the GE. Because we bought Ooh. so many lobsters. <laughs> I have a graph of it. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> this man is. is fucking up the economy, bro. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Unbelievable. But enough about me. Mr. Beggar, play is fuming. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great, man. I'm uh I'm here. This is my first podcast, so I, I looked at some of the old ones that you guys have done. I saw that they're all three hours, and then I instantly regretted that I said I'd be here. <laughs> But <laughs> we can make this one 30 minutes and just like cut it and be like, yeah, all right, guys, see ya. What's, what's the schedule look like for you? What's the schedule look like? You, are you a uh, DJ or you've got the regular oh, yeah. schedule? Oh, I'm full DJ. No, this is great. When you said when you said the time, I was like, oh, that, that couldn't be more perfect. That's what Hamzy said. Because you and Hamzy are pretty close. How how far do you guys go back, actually? Uh oh man, it's been a while. Like mm, Hamzy's just a beggar chatter, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I started out as a beggar chatter, man. Yeah, I, I think. I, go ahead. Were ben. you just a viewer? Were you streaming before I met you, Hamzy, or were you just a viewer? Dude, I was just a viewer, man. I saw this dude oh, yeah. doing giveaways, and I was like, yeah, he, 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 I'm gonna <laughs> get some TV. We eat. We eat. Did you ever? I, was like, I don't. I was like, I don't care what this guy has to say, man. I'm just going to go in, <laughs> exclamation play. Let me see what I can get. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, man. A little bit of hanging out. I was like, yeah, I, I just started hanging out in the giveaways, the giveaway streams, not even entering the giveaways, just having a good time. Heck yeah. Yeah, we, I've, been on, I've been back on Twitch for about three years, and I think hamzy has been there like pretty early on, I feel like. You said back on yeah, what do you mean? Um, I'd say like I used to I used to stream way back 2014 um, holy to like 2016 <laughs> so I streamed for 2 years and uh it, it did pretty good uh but I was streaming uh 
RS3. So, oh, yeah, oh, it was rough. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when you guys yeah. said any topics, I don't think you don't this want to cast is about. going three hours. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. It's going to be, I'll, it's, it's I'll gonna be a two-hour cast. I'll see every now and then. You'll have people still show up, like, randomly, be like, oh, yo, yeah. you're streaming old I, like, they, I feel bad because I roast them. I'm like, oh, that game that game sucks. Sorry, you still play. And, yeah, hey, no, it's, it's me, Tanner, from high school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but I streamed. Uh, I streamed back then. Then I, and then yeah, I got I got busy with like school and work, and I just couldn't uh, make time for it anymore. So I came back in 2020, and Twitch was way different. So that hmm. was in a good way, though. Like uh, lots, lots, uh, lots of improvements. So what was like the as, biggest like the difference of, if you can think like you can think of from this like the time periods way way more like tools for you as a streamer like um like back then i think it was just like ban like there was no timeout <laughs> there was no there was like no that's it that was like your only tool um they probably had like nightbot back then but i i didn't really know about it so like I would just get bullied <laughs> by my chat, like <laughs> spamming, and uh, and there was like nothing you could do about it. And then there was a lot less, um, just general censorship. Like the racism was crazy. Um, the you know people coming in saying just insane stuff. It was wild. It was it was like the wild west back then. Sounds like um, it. what was the like what was the was, room was category no, like there was no there was no subscriptions, there was no bits, it was all PayPal back then. Mm. And uh and then there was like a subscription service that some people used. I forget what it's called. Did you get a lot of donations? Is is like is money the main reason why you quit doing it, or is it was just because you were more interested in school, like <laughs> etc. which you were of the time? I, I, I failed. I started failing like a finance course that I was taking, which was <laughs> which was what I wanted to get a job in after school. It's ironic. <laughs> so I figured I should probably put the whole streaming thing on pause until I until I finished school. And then I I finished school, but I, I had moved and I was like in an apartment. And I'm like really loud when I stream. I'm like blowing whistles and horns and I can relate. It would have been difficult to stream in the apartment. So, yeah, I finally got to a place where I could set it up again. And uh, and I was playing old school because, like, I, near the end of streaming RS3, I think I, near the end, I was like, man, this game. There's a lot of things I didn't like about it. Um, and I kind of wanted to play old school, but... I had, been, I had just invested so much time that I was like, I don't want to start over. But uh, no, here you I are. Came back, yeah. Here I am. But yeah, right. so uh, yeah, it's been fun. What was the what was the RuneScape scene like back then, man? I feel like there weren't that many people streaming compared to now. So the first stream I ever saw was Alfie. He was like the top of the category. No. Yeah, ah! yeah. It was during that. He was he was PVP. He PVP'd back then. He that's yeah. like. That's what he was doing. I saw him. That was the first stream I saw because what happened is a buddy told me about Twitch and I never heard of it. And he's like, yeah, dude, you should stream on Twitch. And I was like, what's what is that? And he's like, it's a website where people watch people play games. And it sounded so dumb, like the idea of like people watching each other play. And um I was like, that's so stupid. He's like, dude, you can make money on there. And I was like, well, I might as well try it. You know, I'm playing RuneScape anyways. And I wouldn't check that. Alfie was the first person I saw. And then I watched some other streamers and uh, it was pretty cool. Back then it was, uh, I got into, uh, it's the Austin show now. He used to play uh, old school RuneScape and he would do like a uh, talk show kind of stuff. And, uh, and so that was really fun. A lot of that. Did you ever get on his show? Because we've we've talked about like we've talked about the like the prior Twitch culture, especially around RuneScape with the dual arena and the fucking the Wild West aspect. Did you ever get on the Austin or he, what was it? It was Raj Patel then. Was that his name then? Yeah, his name was yeah, Raj yeah. Patel. Raj Patel, yeah. And um, no, I was never on the show, but I was a mod for his chat. 
<laughs> because <laughs> back then, like I said, there was no subs or bits or anything. So like early on, he's just like, yo, donate 50 bucks and you get mod. <laughs> and so <laughs> I think I, you know, I had been around for a little bit, just donating here and there or whatever. And I got mod in there and I had it for a really long time. Like I went back like a year later and I was still a mod. But I think what happened eventually is like one of his mods went rogue and just like banned a bunch of people probably from his chat. Mm. And uh, he ended up cleaning out like all the old mods eventually. But I never did any mod work. I just had the cool badge. I would assume he pays people That's to moderate do, his bro. channel now. I would assume. Oh, yeah. He's huge now. Like back then yeah. he was pulling. He was he was like big in the runescape category mm -hmm. but like on twitch not really but yeah, yeah it was I watched him his, uh i watched his show the other day with xqc there's ninety thousand people watching it dude <laughs> so it's pretty big. he pulls some crazy numbers and he only streams like <laughs> once i don't i don't know how often he streams now but i feel like it's not that often but yeah, it was him and like spark yeah. mac bodhi um foe you know what's crazy is like a lot of the guys that were streaming back then they were like they were bigger, but like now they're way bigger. I feel like as far as views, except you know Bodie. Bodie was way big back then too. But like Foe, I don't think Foe pulled anywhere near as many views as he does now. So it was it was cool to come back in 2020 and like go on and see like some of the old streamers that I used to see and like how big they've gotten over the years. So that was really neat. Damn, dude. I um. Uh, I was just thinking. Go, Remember, Ham you just said Hamzy. I'm just going back way, way back. For some reason, this is staying in my head. Hamzy was just a beggar chatter. You know that that that's his that's his origin story, right? <laughs> you ever think about there's somebody in in like the T Papa live stream who who's who's gonna like grow up to become the next big Runescape streamer? You know, is that is you no ever think fucking about that? chance, bro? There's like five brain cells in there, dude. <laughs> Good luck. Ooh, you think know, like Sling Blade is gonna become fucking? Uh, mock stream is good. Mock, mock has a good yeah, well, stream. You got mock. That's true. Mock's your only. Oh, yeah. Mock, mock, is, mock's blowing up. Yeah, one, bro. yeah, he's like switching. He was in between jobs, so he's not. He doesn't stream as much as he was, but his streams are good. When he comes back, it, when he goes back and he's consistent, that's that's a streamer for sure, right mock's there. Mock's a crackhead. I respect the live stream, bro. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's mock's got, video edits like, were so good, bro. Yeah, yeah. mock, yeah. mock's in tune with everything. Yeah. Mock's my guy. You know, yeah. that's that's the one that could do it. You know why mock is great? Because mock will continue to talk even if no one says anything. Thing. He will continue oh, to go, Mock bro. carried my live stream, dude. In the beginning, <laughs> when it was ten viewers, bro, it was just it was, bro. Every day I went live, I was like, God, please just have Mock in the live stream today, please, please. If I bro, could just, if I could just ask it was anything, just bro. Like, it was like Mock, Renock, Yarg, and No LT yeah, and me. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, no, you, you you always got those early chatters that did a lot of the heavy lifting. In the very beginning, it was like it was my IRL friends until I got to. Where I had some chatters that carried, and now you know, now, now it's not like that anymore. But. Did you give him lifetime sub? Because you uh, owe it to him. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, lying, I don't bro. talk. I don't. You're I, I haven't really you can't talked. Even look at your camera and say no, 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 no. You guys want to know who has my my lifetimes? Because I felt bad because you got to pick them, you know. And I was like, frick. So I actually, uh, like Hamzy just said, I gave a lifetime tier three to Mock, and I gave a lifetime tier three to Node. So Node and Mock both have lifetime tier threes. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought you were, I thought the, you were Node Node was like one of my very Node was before Mock. Node was one of my very first chatters. His name is Node LT because he's from Lithuania, and he was the guy. <laughs> okay, he was the guy that one time I was streaming. I was it was literally like three viewers, four viewers. I had no idea, and I was just responding to its Will's chat. For like the third or fourth or fifth day in a row and node just types who the fuck are you talking to no one has typed anything to do with anything you've said and you're just responding to questions and he just straight up called me out he had been lurking and i was just talking so that i was talking and he's like bro are you schizophrenic like what's going on and so uh node was there for the early days of uh when i would deserve yeah Deserved. yeah when i would when i would just uh read it's will's chat and then the other the other strat i had was i would bring up osr's wiki pages and just read them verbatim <laughs> so that when someone joined the stream i was talking about runescape uh and he was there those days too and it worked bro it's funny but that shit works dude like you want to know you want to know what to do when no one's talking i just read verbatim runescape wiki pages and you know it's fair enough 
It works, it works. You know? It worked, bro. So, um, but uh, in terms of the chatters that have turned into big time streamers, actually, we had we had Roydy on a couple weeks ago, and oh, he yeah. was telling us about how he. You know, his origin was he was just a faux chatter. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's actually crazy. That's, yeah, that's yeah. Really cool, though. Uh, really I thought cool. that was really cool when he was telling us he was he was just a a, a, a faux regular. You know, he was a mod in the faux chat. He started mm-hmm. streaming and uh, you know, faux threw him the raid. And obviously, you know, he's really fucking good at the game and has a beautiful voice. So a lot of things clicked I, for him. I feel like that's a lot of people though, because like I felt like for I, like I was streaming, but I didn't have anybody watching me. But at the end of the day, I was really just a fatty C chatter. And like eventually, like people in his community became keen to me, and he threw me a couple raids, and like that got me out of the fucking viewer hell section, kind of. So like I feel like everybody, but not everybody, but a lot of people do have some type of uh, maybe they, maybe they were like a full full on chatter and didn't stream at all, but they had some streamer that kind of like championed them and helped them out a lot. Yeah, yeah. I feel I, like that's I feel like that's kind of like one of the main ways to get out of that one oh, viewer 100%. section yeah, yeah, is to kind of make some friends that are streaming already, probably. That's definitely yeah. the way to go, because otherwise, like, you will stream to... If you don't know anybody, it's hard to, like, get a foothold in and have people watch you stream, because why the fuck would they scroll down to the bottom yeah. and pick you to watch, right? I think that was our, like, our main advice, was if you want to, like, start streaming, get get involved in some of the communities, like, make some friends in some of the communities. That way, when you do go live, at least maybe a few people will show up, and you won't just have one person, like, just... that. You won't have your phone in your Xbox watching you. <laughs> Actually, have a couple people in there. Yeah, I had my phone. <laughs> Bro, Kunix is my favorite. I'm gonna grab the Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PS4, <laughs> phone, neighbor's laptop, like, <laughs> all trying to get partners. Dude, I even <laughs> I even had it one step further, man. I had my phone with an alt account. You know, I would I, I would ask myself questions. You know, I would type Ain't them in. No way, dude. Ain't no way, dude. Ain't no way. Oh, no way. oh my god, dude. Sometimes I would even. You're killing so, it. It's not a bad idea. Gross. Sometimes I would even roast myself, you know, like on my phone, and and then like everyone's kept dubbing at the phone when I make like a sick comeback, and I'm like, damn, maybe Dude, the roast was harder than the comeback. Hamzy, Hamzy is the Hamzy is the Ted Cruz chatter. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, so true. What do you think about that beggar? What do you think about Hamzy looking like Ted Cruz? You think it's accurate or no? Dude, that that meme I put on Twitter, I think is probably one of my most liked posts. I did this meme. Where I blended Hamzy and Ted Cruz. Oh my gosh, together. I've seen that. Yeah. I merged these pictures. And, you know, at first I didn't really think anything. I was just like, he doesn't look like Ted Cruz. But then I merged those pictures and I was like, this is this is Ted Cruz, dude. <laughs> wait, time, wait, time, time stamp that and throw that up right here. Bro, it was <laughs> just that one that. picture. Yeah. You want to see that? Like, okay, okay, come hold on, on, dude. Yeah. Oh, well, you can put it in After Dark, but we'll, we'll, have, uh, we'll have it edited in on here. Yeah, we'll let me. Uh, let me. I have that. it for you. I have it for you right here. And it <laughs> Why does it gotta get unlocked, bro? Man, <laughs> I knew this shit was coming, dude. Like, <laughs> goddamn, man. Yeah, I, I think I. I think I have two. You gotta get. Uh, yeah, get the one where they're all merged together. That one's great. Yeah. Oh, Unbelievable, I think that's great. man. And, I, and of course, the other thing that I love a beggar is the bloat. T O T O B bloat impression. Excuse me. Okay. The fucking oh, beggar man. bloat is one of the greatest memes ever. Oh, made. beggar bloat! I have spit on my drink, so bro. Good, dude. Oh, so that good, was bro. insane. Yeah, I you gotta, gotta watch it, it twenty times. Put that in there too. Yeah, so please. Funny. Yeah, mark down and put the beggar <laughs> bloat clip because that's just. That's... Who, by the way, who did that? Who did you like that? Was that like Reddit so, or what was that? No, you know what's funny is um that was one of my regulars. It was uh make bong for you and um. You know, I was I, one of my goals this year is to like put out more stuff on socials, and so I was like, "Well, this will be my little clip for February or whatever." And when I was making it, I was like, "Nah, this sucks. This isn't this isn't that good." And it is like my most like post of all time. So it's so funny. It was really funny. I was walking. I was I was just goofing around on chat. I, there's like this song that's like a meme right now, and it's have you seen the one with the guys walking? It's like dun 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 dun. dun. You know that song? And there's like the RuneScape guys walking, like the Chad or whatever, the PK. Ah, uh, no, yes, nothing. I know exactly what you're talking I'm about now. That. Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, you guys have seen song. the format. You beggar did an awful job describing it, and I don't know how to do a better job. So we're just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> you guys all know the I meme format here. <laughs> I put that. I put that song on, and I was like, "Yo, chat, stream's about to be over. I'm about to head out to Taco Bell," and I was doing my Taco Bell walk. 
and <laughs> and bong links a clip and it just says bloat impression <laughs> and I, I had no idea what it was i was like bloat impression like what and i pulled a clip up <laughs> and it's just me walking around the room and yeah it was pretty good it's pretty good it's just good because bloat walks just dude like bloat <laughs> just <laughs> like that literally yeah walks. yeah you got it the, down to the t yeah we we look similar too so it was it was a good one that was that was a good one <laughs> yeah I mean, I should, hey, I, you know what I'm, I'm gonna maybe i'll enter the cosplay competition next year Honestly, if you, know, you become the bloat, I will push you to the ends of Earth, bro. Yeah. Yo, become I vote the bloat. For you, <laughs> That's what they're saying. You know, there's been a lot of uh, uh, turmoil, I guess, in the RuneScape old school uh, Reddit, you know, with the whole cosplay. I don't know if you guys have been keeping uh, up. I was but trying to no, find that uh, drama and I couldn't. Cosplay, I fu- there's I all- <laughs> it's, I'm sorry. I fucked up some of my intro. Shout out to Zoe. Shout out to Mr. Idol. They are Golden Gnome nominees. Mm-hmm. So if you've not voted yet, you still have until Monday to vote. This should be out on Saturday. Please, Cuneix, edit the podcast. I love you. <laughs> Go vote for them, please. Sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead. Yes. Um, so, I need a link to this Reddit thread, bro. I'm, I uh, looked for the Reddit thread I, and I couldn't find it because I knew there was some drama to do with the cosplayers, dude. So basically, a lot of guys... Uh, presumably Men. are are talking about how the cosplay uh golden gnome nominees is it's all women and and you know this is so sexist or whatever and uh i mean i don't anything. think there's i don't think there's any men that <laughs> have even done cosplays but not only I'm, that <clears throat> women are when hot, you scroll though. down the comments when you scroll the comments everyone's like Look at them sexualizing RuneScape characters. And I'm like, bro, what? Are, what? They're like, there's the costumes are like pretty modest overall. Like, oh, I've yes. seen like, way, see? like, what are they even talking about? It was so bro, crazy reading those go, comments. Go to any convention. People are literally like have their asshole covered by a thread, bro. Yeah. First of all, first of all, <laughs> if, if, if someone realistically cosplayed, like if a girl realistically cosplayed her wearing bandos, her nipple would be out. We'd get a full breast. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. They yeah, tone true. it down. <laughs> if you think That's about true. it, the cosplays are toned down. I ain't seen no b- bandos boob you know they are yeah <laughs> they, i talked they, about it with they my, were uh, they were nipple they were pasties trust me i've 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 been had my eye out i checked and the thing is they I'm don't know that my stream. I, I talked about like going going all out for a cosplay next year like some type of chad runescape player just going all out that'd be fun yeah yeah honestly man there, there aren't for. really any there yeah, aren't man, really any men I, doing it i didn't see any male submission or what anything, would you like, what would you what, what's what's what you cosplaying then what's is there something on the docket i don't, I don't know i'd have to find a good npc well let's that, let's, let's be, workshop that for me. so we have you could cosplay a raw lobster you're bloat obviously <laughs> we have beggar beggars bloat what am i oh you're definitely um can i be like a joker Huh? Nah, that would offend Hamzy. I don't think you should do that. Um, <laughs> Come on, man. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't. I don't know. Mm. Listen, man. I just wanna. I just wanna make one thing clear, okay? The beekeeper is not a cosplay, okay? I appreciate all the votes that I was getting, but you know, please stop voting for me. It is, that a, is cosplay. Not a cosplay. You can pull off the beekeeper for sure, though. Like if you wanted to. <laughs> okay, but that's also just a beekeeper outfit. That's not like a Bro, cosplay. Miss Madam Mage put on a fucking like Dude, just what a beekeeper do... thing with a baguette. <laughs> what if like I if do she the can demon? be a sandwich lady, you can be a beekeeper. Like, you know? What if it's I like... do the work the workout demon, the army, the boot camp demon? That'd be oh, a good. Oh one. yeah, yeah. Oh no, you yeah. need to be Vinaka bro oh, that's what i was gonna say uh, uh, you're good, vanaka too. for sure yeah, vanaka, if, dude. If, that's actually if good. some if some hot ass dude just cosplayed like vanica or duradel like that shit would go so hard <laughs> yeah duradel would go hard yeah duradel would go super hard man if you get the the hair with the you know the little bun like yeah you, is, are there any groups in runescape do you think we do like a bit like you know based group cosplay like four or five of us put pull up together we could all do random mm. events <clears throat> Yeah, I can yeah, do Vinaka. Yeah. And I can just go bald and just leave it too. You you need a fucking problem. spray tan too, my guy. <laughs> I, I tan well, trust me. Okay, I do. Yeah, I, I, okay. I have pictures to prove it. I do. I trust me. Trust all right, me. man. When I pull when I pull up the oil see on you next time, Seth, I'm gonna pull out. Have you seen that SpongeBob episode where they pull out the card and they check like people's tans? I'm gonna do that to you, bro. <laughs> yeah, trust me. Trust me. I'll be tan. I'll be tan for Las Vegas. Maybe not. Maybe not Tennessee though. But definitely Las Vegas. Aye, um, aye. 
I did want to take the question in a different direction because last week the question was not asked. So I will pose the question this week. Early today. I think he's ready. I think he's prepared. I think he might already have his uh, mind made up. Oh, this is but, early. Uh, the yeah, question we're ripping into, you, it. Mr. Bear, into it. I'm, listen, even... I don't want to forget this time. We missed last time, so we got to do it Yeah, I saw anyway. a comment on the rig video, and it was like, you guys yeah. didn't ask him the question. Yeah, uh, disappointing, okay. you know? It's okay. Uh, Daddy's know, home. Hey, hey, the question will be asked this week. I, I just, I, I'll, take, I'll take full responsibility, okay? I remembered to ask the question. It was just, it was getting too philosophical and deep, and I just... <laughs> I was just like, bro, like sometimes I like, like legit, I'm just like, oh my God, I don't want to ask the question, but I know I'm That's the only Cap, one who remembers. That's and Cap. Listen, what, listen, no, he Cap, literally what? was roasting. He was, he was literally talking about Mormon people being Amish. You had a good chance right there, bro. Okay. Oh. It, what's not, you guys weren't deep the entire time. All right. You could, you could have slid it in there. You could have slid it in Th there. There's some people you could ask the question too easily, but other people you're like, ah, uh, <laughs> you feel a little uncomfortable, you know? And I, I can see that with rig, you know, you don't want to. He oh, would have. He would have been fine. It wasn't a rig thing. It yeah. was a me thing, and I was just hoping someone else would do it. And I was just like, "Well, freaking, yeah. no one else is gonna bring it up. And it's only up to me right now." And I was like, "Whatever, um, bro." I did have Sanctus do some analytics on last cast, and well, okay, thirty-eight words. That's pretty good. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that's not bad. Pretty good. So, uh, we'll get him. <laughs> oh hell no! Oh, dang, dude. dude, straight called out, dude. Oh my That's god, fun, man. I'm just gonna shout the well for coming. I've been on as many episodes as Whale said words in the last cast. <laughs> Bro. That's. The crazy part is that's still not even worse. That's second worst. You guys remember the first one? Mario Kajina's <laughs> cast. Oh <laughs> yeah. Man. God, I love Mario Kajina was, though. That was Mario a great was one. Mario's the quietest guest ever. He, he, he Bro, but that high, cast was you know? a banger though. Go back and listen to the Kajina cast. one. We got yeah, we went in like that was a good one. <laughs> it's a great cast. <sighs> anyway. Mario spoke. I I think I could count all the words he spoke on two hands. That's probably. It. <laughs> probably. <laughs> oh man. Beggar, we got a. How many words are yeah? Have you been keeping track? Look, he's I, I've been counting. Dude. He's doing great. He's counting everybody, yeah. He had a full <laughs> monologue there. He had a full monologue. Yeah, I, some real depth, too. I didn't know you streamed back then. That's actually crazy. Let's, all right, let's, let's, not, let's not get away from the question, you know? Seth, you brought oh, yeah, it up. Sorry. You got to drop you, it I on got him, you. Bro. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the question is, if there's a hypothetical um, imaginary person on their hands and knees, and you have to Eiffel Tower them with somebody in this call, who are you going to choose? You can have either oh. side. doesn't matter to you. Oh, man. Is it the one of you guys is in the middle, or are you on the other? No, we're hey, completing the, we're hey, completing the tower. You, Look at me. We're if you pick me, here. if you pick me and you ask nicely, dude, I might go in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll, I'm gonna say Cunix isn't here. I would put Cunix in the middle every time. Fuck it, I'm just gonna say. It. <laughs> I feel like it. I feel like I know Hamzy the best, so you know that would be the obvious answer. But like Ignoble's a stranger, so that could be like. A experience you know okay so fucking go <laughs> is it, is it Damn Hamzy, sorry, bro. I, I, I gotta go hamzy though i gotta oh go oh my hamzy. god dude you scared me <laughs> oh. dude th that that's like hamzy, I mean, this is what it is like when a woman pulls up to the club with her husband and you take him away like that's this is exactly that feeling it's called karma okay it's true oh my god All right, well now you know <laughs> speaking, speaking so stop that, doing it to women please i'm curious ignoble how's the how's your uh how, how's your situation going um you know i'm just gonna tell you guys and I'm, I'm not gonna leak it to anybody on stream or anything so whoever listens to this i officially have a girlfriend Ain't no way oh wow. my god no way I have paid a female to be my girlfriend. <laughs> How much does that send you back? Oh, uh, I don't want to talk about it. I'm fucking poor now. I'm genuinely so happy for you. At the same time, Whoa. I'm flabbergasted. That's wild, bro. That's fucked up. Why are you flabbergasted? I'm Do you just not kidding. think women like me? Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I get it. I get it. You're very smart. <laughs> are we gonna get a, do we get a meet? Are we going to meet her? I'm trying to convince her to come out to Tennessee, but she's like, eh, maybe. Because she's, you know. But Dude, you're we'll bringing her to lot. meet the family already? 
That would be a lot, dude. Yeah, that's true. We're kind of like your extended family that you didn't want. Yeah, I, I was. I, I thought about it. I was like, it might be a bit too soon. Like, I, if you know, if if things stick around till Vegas, I'll definitely bring her there. But you know, this might be a little, little. Well, we'll see. Okay. We'll see how it goes. That'd be pretty that'd overwhelming. Be nice. Congrats. Yeah. Because honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I've just barely introduced her to like some of my friends and stuff like that. But we've been seeing each other for a while. But like. I don't know if I can dump like 25 of you guys in a house with there for six days. Like she would be like, I'm fucking out of here, bro. 25 yeah. internet people. Yeah. So yeah. She, she, like, would you say she's more innocent or? Uh, she's definitely not a person who's chronically online. Like I am, you know, she's a, Have you guys had sex. <laughs> I'm waiting till marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I like it. I like oh, it. I man. like it. <laughs> Fucking point blank, man. Hamzy, have you had any experiences lately? Uh, you know, I I am happy to announce that uh, I have continued to be reformed, and uh, okay, all good. my experiences as of late have been with single women. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that you know of. You know, I, when Hamzy's podcast went up, I thought for sure that part would get deleted eventually. <laughs> <laughs> no, they've all been. You know, it's not that. You know, I'm not breaking any rules. You know, I'm not hurting any feelings. At least, not that I know of. As long as, uh, as long as I don't know about it, you know, it's fine. Mr. Wait. Beggar, do you have a uh, girlfriend, wife, etc.? Man, How's I don't even. I you? don't even know. I don't even know a woman right now, man. There's, there's, <laughs> I live in like a retirement community, bro. And I play RuneScape all day. Like, oh my god, bro! I'm telling you, yo, I'm, look, look, bro. Back in my single days, back in those days, some days I turn up the hinge to like you know put the age range up to like 50 plus. I'm telling oh you, bro. God, I'm bro. telling you. Wait, wait, I want to hear. I wanna, wait, 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 you know wait, why you like someone ages because they can't walk away as fast. Yes, they. they, they <laughs> I want. I want. Talking, I want Prison Joe to address his situation. When are you gonna tell the people? Yeah. Oh, then I'm gay? Right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Cunix is not here. We're actually in the process of moving in together and uh, we're going to start our life. It's going to be great. That was a good save. <laughs> that was a banger. Damn. That was a banger. <clears throat> nice technique. <laughs> I did want to bring up this story though. I wanted to bring up the story that Tasty sent uh that's that he sent us the other oh, day. Yeah. Oh, I read, I read it right now. I read it on yeah, stream. We, it was a banger. We we got we have to get into this. So it was so it looks good. Like this is Instagram. Somebody DM'd <clears throat> Tasty from YouTube. He said, uh, hey, I'm a lorry driver, which means truck driver. Uh, he plays RuneScape from the UK, British, disgusting. Thank you for watching the podcast, so we love you. Um, he said that he witnessed a cyclist get hit by a vehicle while he was working. Uh, his truck had a dash cam inside of it, and the police were there. He was there, so the police wanted a copy of the video. So he called his boss to get a copy of the video, and he said his boss called him back immediately and was very concerned. <laughs> and he was wondering why, and his boss like couldn't explain, and his boss was just like, I'm just going to send it to you and let you listen to it. His boss sent it to him, and precisely at the time when the man got hit by a car on his bike, it, he had the bass podcast playing in his truck, and we were talking about the methods of how we clean up our cum after jacking off with Mr. King Condor as this guy got hit Whether we give him cum on the stomach or whether we walk to the bathroom or leave it on the stomach, tissues on deck, tissues not on deck. And that video is going to the police. So <laughs> that is fucking outstanding. We are officially <laughs> immortalized. In Pulling that up in the courtroom oh. as evidence, and then all you hear in the background is like, "Yeah, bro, you know, I, I jerk off into a tissue, bro. There's Chipotle napkins, man. That shit's fire." And then sure, dude just gets hit by a fucking car, bro. <laughs> bro, we gotta get our hands on that video and like make a make we, a video with it. Like that's a hype up video for the for the cast. We do, we do. If that goes viral, we have to be the on there tagging our podcast. That's our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably hell, the dude. best publicity we could ever get I i'm true hopefully the guy who got hit's okay though i wish i don't i think i guess he is he, he didn't say he died or anything so hopefully he's okay but yeah that is uh that's you imagine you imagine we get the video and it's just like a horrific fatality just like, <laughs> <laughs> we're like we're all hyped to finally watch it and it's just like the saddest just most horrific video Bro, don't you've say seen that. don't say it's that it's like the worst okay. <laughs> look okay. even look 
I know it, it'll still get put up on live leak. I will refresh the page. I will add views to it. I don't care. I'll do it. I'll fucking watch it. It's like the That's most tragic really video of all time. And we're just out there like, yo, follow the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my God. I had to, I had to bring that up though. That's, that is outstanding. Yeah, thanks also, for thank you. Uh, um, I'll say as RSA and as RSA is pussy diet. Thank you. Pussy diet for watching the podcast. Love that. <laughs> love that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh man, beggar. So I, I've been looking at you. I've seen you for a little while, and every time I see you, you've got a little panda hat on. Can, can you can you tell me what the lore is behind that? Yeah. So remember how I said I I started back in 2016, and there was like no moderator tools or whatever. When I started streaming, I was gonna be the hat guy. I had this huge hat collection at the time, and I was just gonna wear like a different hat. Every stream, like, that's what, gonna what, be what my kind of hats like snapbacks. My or... hat, man. No, 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 like crazy hats. I had like a Dr. Zeus hat, like Viking hats, oh, you know, shit. sombreros, like just oh, all kind okay. of okay, yeah, like okay. wacky hats. And I was gonna do like a different hat every day. This was one of them. I wore this hat, everybody really liked it. They were like, oh, that's cool. And then I wore, um, I had like a Sherlock Holmes hat that I wore the next stream. The deer, and everyone, that's the Enridsky, yeah. Hat. Yeah. Everyone hated it. They were like, that hat sucks. <laughs> and they, they said, put, put the panda hat back on. <laughs> and Did they bully you? They, bull they, like, they literally spammed my chat for like hours <laughs> to where I couldn't read anything. And I finally put on the hat because, like I said, all you could do is like ban, basically. Or, or you could do like... Um, there was no slow mode or anything, actually. I, I, eventually, I did get Nightbot, but I don't know if I had it at this point or not. I probably did it because it was pretty early on in the stream. So I think I just was like, I can't ban all these people. And so I put the hat back on. And any time I would take it off, they would like riot in the chat. <laughs> and so it became like a running gag. And eventually, I wore it for so long that people were like, what's under the hat? And, um, and it just kind of became the thing. It, it, it became the theme of the stream, the panda guy. And what, what is know. under the hat? I've, I, I want to know. Can you well, make or... no, I can't see. That's the thing. This is like a moneymaker now, you know, it, we, we've, we've taken off that about three times since I've been back and it's like 500 bucks to take the hat off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, yeah. Listen, I've seen it. He has a beautiful head of hair. But actually. <laughs> and, um, so so it's just kind of become the meme and uh and now i feel like if i took it off people would be like who's this guy you know um i told you this before but when i when i first started streaming i just went and got it i used to wear this beanie every single day when i streamed and i would see beggar and I like didn't want to get confused with beggar, so then I stopped wearing my beanie because I didn't want to be like I didn't want to like come off as like oh dude like beggar's that beanie guy like oh dude the new beanie guy like I was like all right dude beggar's got like the monopoly on beanies so I'm just gonna not be beanie guy anymore and then uh yeah so dude no I don't I, wear just it anymore looking at you right now T Papa I wish the viewer the podcast listeners could see you you have the fucking chain on the supreme hat on you look like a fucking I have a failed shirt rapper on too. supreme shirt you look like <laughs> you, you look like you drop shit on fucking YouTube for like I look like views, a failed then... rapper bro you just haven't heard my mixtapes dude I am a failed rapper <laughs> <laughs> you know you're like the kind of guy who pulls up to like any viral tweet like plugs your shit underneath it and just like Oh that's no, a, that's, dude, that's dude, exactly dude, I'm what I got his face. You. Yeah, like, hey man, first time chatter, you listen to my new song. <laughs> I can see that where he's like in public with the like the worst camera known to man, but a super bright light to try and attract people. Oh yeah. I, 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 I could see that for sure. In a different I light. You, uh, in a different light for sure. I noticed you moved away from the glasses. I haven't seen the glasses as much. Oh, uh, the glasses was literally just an eye thing. Like COVID happened, I wasn't I wasn't gonna go to the optometrist or whatever the optometrist. I just couldn't see because I I need prescription glasses and just sitting here for hours. I was getting massive headaches every day and I couldn't figure out why. And then I was like, oh my god, I'm taking off my glasses for five hours of day just to like oh, and yeah. everything's blurry. And it was just like it was just giving me massive headaches. So then I went away from them and I've I've always just said I'm gonna go get contacts so that I can bring them back when I want to. 
Uh, but yeah, like the main thing is my eyes have just gotten so bad and I just keep going, like not going to the doctor to get them. So you don't ever wear con uh, contacts? Get, get the contacts. I've I'll, tried I'll contacts. Crazy, I tried bro. contacts a couple years ago. I was a bitch. I couldn't put them in and I'm definitely gonna, I, I want to retry for sure. I think I, I'm, I'm ready to go give them another retry. It's just like, it's just like legitimately just like getting an appointment. Just like all the logistics are just like annoying and I don't want to deal with that crap. Is so. there, do you think there'd be a way to put prescription lenses in those? Uh, These ones the, specifically, <laughs> sadly. No, I, I I was looking mm. into it and just the way it's in. I've actually gotten really cool sunglasses before, and like you know, I had weird lenses and was able to like get prescription in there. But if you look, these are actually like super flat lens. There's no curve to them at all, and it's like a design aspect of the actual frame too. And prescription lenses have to be curved because the curve is what makes them prescription. So it would just throw off the whole look of the glasses. So I'm not gonna put prescription lenses in there, and I'm just gonna nut up and go get contact soon. What about and then the uh, what about a LASIK back. situation? Bro, just get LASIK, man. Just yeah, I've code. thought about LASIK. Uh, I really do like glasses, though. I like wearing glasses. I like wh how I look with glasses. I've been used to glasses for so long. I don't take know if I take your glasses off right now. Let's see what you report. look like. <clears throat> okay, never mind. Put him. Put yeah, him. yeah, put him back on. Put him back on. Jesus Christ. You don't know. See, <laughs> is it weird do you, uh, that I you look more Mormon with glasses off? Like I could see you trying to sell me some shit more. Yeah, yeah. Keep them on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, I, I, I like I, I like my glasses. So I got. Uh, I like the new look. I look like I'm about to fucking do some woodwork with these fucking things on. You bro. do. Dude, whenever I see you with the glasses on, I'm like, oh, Seth's in way too serious of a mood to talk to me right now. Like, I can't. You I look like, like a I've fucking opened your dad, stream. Bro. I've opened your stream. You've had glasses on, and I was like, oh, I'm not the vibe right now. I'll come back in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I got LASIK before, and it was fucking awesome, dude. One of the best days of my life. But that is also where my Xanax addiction came from. Oh, bad chest. They that was the first time LASIK? I ever took Xanax. The doctor was like, uh, you know, that's part of the thing before LASIK. It's like a common thing. The doctor will give you Xanax. To chill you out? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They'll give you Xanax before. And I was like, oh, I normally stay away from that stuff. And he's like, no, no, no. It's for the surgery. Like, just take it before. And I was like, I was like okay, fine. You're like, I got How a snort How did you obtain shoot? Xanax after that? How did I what? How did you obtain Xanax after that? Yeah. Uh, grandma. Dude, rest in peace, bro. <laughs> Damn, bro. That's pretty standard, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so now your old optometrist or whoever the fuck cut up your eyes now sells you Xanax on the side. <laughs> no, I get on black market now. Okay, okay. That's where it started. Alpha Bay. That's 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 where that's that that was uh that was square one, you could say. That's a good question, Alpha Beggar. Do you partake in any uh drinking, any recreational drugs of or anything? <laughs> No, man, I'm totally sober. I don't. Fuck. Sorry. My uh, <laughs> my my drug of choice is uh is is food. I have enough struggles with like. That. <laughs> Me too. Me Shout too. out. Yeah, yeah I have I have like alcoholics in my family and stuff, so I I I don't partake just because I I I don't have a problem like going to parties and stuff. Like it doesn't bother me. It's not like a. It's not like a moral thing or anything like that. It's just I know myself, so. No, nah, you know, got to pick your vices yeah. in life. Yeah, good to know yourself. What's, Are, what's do, would you say you have an addictive type personality? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like, like that's the thing. Like food and and I used to I quit drinking soda, but I was doing like soda for a long time. But like, um, you know, I remember I like I got like uh, broken up with one time, and I remember I went to like the store, and I got like a bag of Snickers, and I was like, I'm gonna eat this whole bag like right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, man. Yeah, it's, Shout it's, it's, out. It's not not for me. Yeah, it's I gotta, I I just know. Yeah, I got an addictive personality, so I relate. I mean, I like I love like having a drink is nice. Alcohol is great, but like when I have a nasty just binge meal, I'm gonna eat. That's not for me. Like I get way more excited about that than drinking. Hundred percent. I just me. Yeah. me too. I, I love it. I'll I'll drink <laughs> it like. Hand, uh, hand just took a pull from a fucking <laughs> handle, bro. Can nobody? <laughs> I was hey, chasing you know, with hey. the four loco. Ah! I'll, I'll top up, dude. I'll top up with him super quick. <laughs> My God. I've never so, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Seth. Before. Go ahead. No, no, you're fine. I was just saying that I, I, I prefer food's definitely on the top of my like vices for sure, or the guilty pleasure for sure. I think addiction should like. So I I also think that I have an addictive personality, but I'm addict like that only shows up 
at certain points like for example runescape if there's a time where i'm super duper interested in runescape i will try to play as much as i can it's all i think about but like drinking for example for me i don't i'm not addicted to alcohol but i i love to have a drink love to party but like i will never find myself like drinking alone or being in a type of state where i would be you know abusing that so it's like it shows up at different times for everyone i don't know if that's the case for everyone here yeah, for me, I'm I'm just a very like routine based person. So if I get used to drinking on like a regular basis, I'll do it. And then like there will be like a certain amount of days where I just don't do it, and then it'll just completely phase away. I guess I've technically drank by myself, but it's I was streaming though, so I didn't feel like I was. That doesn't count. That's, 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 the, that's the thing I'd like to bring up is is drinking while you're. So I don't ever drink alone. But I drink a good bit when I'm streaming. Like, is that considered drinking alone? No, you got a whole no, chat no, there. No, that's, no, that's no, different. not even kind so of. Drinking oh. alone is if you're in your bedroom, lights turned that's off, like so thinking sad. about her, and you're that's you're fucking sad. pounding back. <laughs> then, like, like when I'm at home alone, you know, playing RuneScape, I'm not drinking. Like, no, I mean, yeah, no, yeah, no, that's weird. Speaking of the old days of Twitch, that was like one of the metas back then for people making money. Because there was no bits or subscriptions, drunk streams were huge. Five bucks for a shot kind of thing. Like the reason that um, they, they implemented like a rule that you're like not allowed to throw up on stream. And that was because everybody like every in the RuneScape section, especially like there were so many RuneScape streamers doing like um, drunk streams where it was like, you know, they don't have different prices or whatever, but it's like 10 bucks a shot or whatever. And they would just get yeah. like wasted till they passed out. There's like a there's like videos of some popular streamers now that you can probably find of them just like passing out on stream back yeah, in the day. Shout out to Inferno. I did a stream. I did. A, I did a stream. I don't drink that much. I did a stream where I I drank a lot and it wasn't directly for money but i was like i'll party if x amount is given to me <laughs> you know like type deal <laughs> i was like haha jk unless you know kind of situation well, and uh, uh that's that's fair because you can be like you can be drinking and then someone like will like donate or whatever and they'll be, well, they'll be like do you want to take a shot i'm like nah and they're like how about you want to take a shot now i'm like hmm then they donate i'm like oh i really just want to take a shot now just all, uh, all my say, just me yeah. uh -huh. just me no i know there's no reason i just I feel like I need to take a shot. So now. I had one of those nights and I was sitting here, dude. I was sitting here. I don't know how many shots I was deep. Uh, and I was sitting here and I was like, oh my God, I'm going to throw up, dude. And so I was like, all right, guys, give me one minute. I'm going to go throw up, dude. I went in the bathroom. I fucking hugged the toilet for five minutes. And I just came back and streamed another two hours. I was Keep like, right, yeah, dude, I fucking, I Honestly, threw up. I actually felt like such a champion just going in there and just humbling myself in the bathroom while I'm live for five minutes and just throwing up everything. And then I came back and I was like, all right, guys, everything's good. <laughs> and then I just That's the thing streaming. about the Buchan rally is you have to, you have to rally while the alcohol is still fresh in you. You can't let your body fully absorb it. You have to get it out quick. And then you're good. Yeah. You can rally works, but you got to do it early. You can't wait too long. How, how do you do that? I don't get it. Any if I puke, I'm done. I'm done for the next fucking eight hours. Like I'm, I'm in really. Bed. I'm it's, like, it's like it's like I said. You have to do over. it early. You if you if you sit yeah. around for five six hours and drink a ton and then and then try, it's too late. Your body's already absorbed all that alcohol. You got you got to get it. You got to get it out. That's the only way. To me, there yeah, was no that's... choice. Like I had only been live for two hours, and like I wasn't about to end after two. That was the money. The money spots like two, two or three hours in drinking. If you want to hit a puke and rally, that's like the best time. Yeah. Probably. So then oh, I dude, threw up and I went back me, and finished the stream. For me, uh, for me, puking is like a redemption proc, dude. It's just like bring me back. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good tweet. That's a good tweet. That's a good. You should that is a, fire. That's a, that's a good tweet. Puke and rally is just a redemption proc. <laughs> that's a good one, actually. I'll keep that. I'll, I'll keep that in there mind. For the, uh, so good. I'm keeping tweet. that in mind for the Twitter workshop. Yeah, there that's you go. One. Uh, that, that'll that'll resonate well with the community. That is so good. Holy shit. Yeah. I, I I had a time like when I was in college I had about there's like an acquaintance came or like a friend of a friend came with us like and we were we were pre gaming at, at our at our place and this dude just keeps drinking for some reason he got he got fucked that day with the pre game so he was he had to take a lot of drinks like he had like a whole beer in front of him and he's like all right look guys I'll be right back I gotta puke I'm I can take this I'm so down to do this I just gotta puke first and me I was younger I was just like dude that's like if you're gonna puke why are you gonna come back just call it a night he's like nah dude he goes up you can hear him <laughs> violently hurl. Too many, like washes his hands, comes back, looking like a new man, looking like <laughs> dapper as fuck. He pulls up, downs that beer in one go. He's like, all right, let's fucking go out, boys. And I was, he's a champion in my eyes, you know? He's God to me. <laughs> 
I uh, yeah, the, the, go ahead. Sorry. I was gonna say the the puke and rally man. It's a it's it's an incredible tool, dude. You know, if you if you really like look at it, you know, not like I'm I'm out for the night, but dude, you just get there, you wash your hands, splash some water on your face, like, and you just think about how how you're feeling. It really is. A, it really is like a cheat code, honestly. You can also use it for maybe if you have some like bad food or something that you're just not setting well. People will use it for that as well. So you know, it's a, it's a, it's a tool, I guess. I can't for for me, it's actually super easy. Like that, this is like something that's probably makes it easier for me than other people. Is like my stomach is like I puke so easily. Like I am just a puker ever since I was a kid. Uh, Any time we would go on any kind of road trip uh, with the family, like. It was like multiple times, you know, three so hour you, ride. You give you shitty know? blowjobs then. I, I probably will, <laughs> dude. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't get your blowjobs from me. That just um, like his gag reflex does not have to do with his, you know. I, I could probably knock out a hand job, but like blowjob, you know, I'm probably not your guy. I, I <laughs> up a lot. Like like I was saying, you know, the 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 the, the road trips with the family we were pulling over multiple times so that I could get out. You know, eight year old me just throwing up. Uh, anytime we get on a flight. Uh, you know how they have the bark seasick? bags? You get the seasickness? Oh, dude, I get seasickness, car sickness, airplane Gee, sickness, that's everything. Awful. Like, uh, uh, literally everything. It's just motion sickness if you're going to name all yeah. types of motion. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, they're all under the umbrella, so. Uh, but, but uh, what is it? Finish up, finish up. I was going to say, like, even even overeating. Sometimes I like like to smoke a lot of weed and, you know, treat myself to a lot of food. Like, even then, I'll just... You know, just you let it out, bro. I hot girl IBS of some. Sort. I throw up a lot, man. Like <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I'll drink the night before, and like I won't even wake up feeling necessarily hungover, but I'll still have to throw up. <laughs> His body's like, ah, oh, fuck it, let's puke. I've anyway. been there, so, dude. Like, I know so exactly like what you're your talking lifestyle. about. Puking like part of your lifestyle? It is a part of my lifestyle. Oh wow! But it's okay. been since I was a kid. It's not just like an alcohol thing. It's like all other stuff. Like in sports, you know, in high school and stuff. Like I was always like running off the sideline, like lifting up my football helmet, that puking guy. off. It. Like it's just, <laughs> it's just well, always been handling. a thing. I don't know, man. My stomach just can't hold shit down, bro. One of my favorite parts about the taste giving vlogs is that like everyone was dead in the mornings <laughs> and Hamsey just rolls in like, hey, what's up, guys? Drinking a beer at <laughs> like 8 a.m. or something. Everyone's like dead. Oh, man. yeah. The amount of mornings that I see Hamsey and he's jolly and I want to kill myself. and I just want to walk over and sock <laughs> Hamsey in the face, bro. Like, dude, get that smile off your fucking face, bro. It no was, one else is smiling the, uh, right now. <laughs> it, it was just TwitchCon the day after we just had that big party, and like yeah. he shows up and he's drinking a beer, and it's just like I was like, we're gonna ki- we're gonna kick you out, bro. Like, you he's like, hey, who wants a shot? The sun is shining. It's 10 a.m. It's bright. Everyone's on the ground, like covering their eyes. It's like, hey, anybody want a shot? It's like, no, we fucking don't want a shot, bro, Hamzy. There's a God. clip right there. Okay. <laughs> okay, but hair of the dog is is an underrated technique that people are scared of doing, but is insanely effective. Call it. Wait, wait. What's the name of it? Hair of the dog. Drinking alcohol while you're hungover. Why is it called hair of the dog? There, there's definitely. I have no idea. To it. It's like if you if you're hungover and you just go right back into drinking, it kind of it does null the hangover and get you back into the uh, the space. But like the first hour of it is brutal. It's brutal at first, but it pays off in the end. At least in my experience. Dang, I'll have I don't to try even that think tomorrow. it's the first hour, dude. I think it's just the first couple minutes, and then it's like an instant cure. Almost. Well, you're built different. You are Ted Cruz. You're, you're um, fucking yeah. different, bro. You're just a different ass dude. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, though, speaking of blowjobs, uh, for a future podcast, you Papa did secure a podcast guest via blowjob. So yeah. Ginger Beardy has, has agreed to come on our podcast. I give he great does, head, receive, too. So he's going to he be really, he does, he's gonna be really happy. He's going to be really happy. So mm. that's big. Okay. That's, that's, yeah, for the future. Did he say he was going to have to be a live podcast? No, no, no. He, he did say, he said he wanted us to come on to his. Well, I don't know what it is, but he said that he's doing something live that he wants us to come on to. And I was like, oh, sure. oh, I'll yeah. I, I know who was talking about wanting to do like a in person live yeah, cast. I think that's his thing, though. But, um, Mr. Becker, I did have, I have one more question for you. I think. Of things I thought about was uh, the giveaway aspect of your live streams. I yeah, I have been in. That is the primary. Like every time I've watched you, it's typically you're doing stuff a giveaway. I just want to know like the lore behind that and how how do you continue to do that? Like what's the meta? How do you continue to give away tons of shit? And how can yeah. we do that? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, uh, you know, girl, I played RuneScape like since I was 
since 2004 is when I started. And I was always like really just terrible at the game. Like I was killing cows and goblins to level up. And <laughs> I remember I was picking flax, dude. Like I was that guy back then. And um, like wood cutting was like my money maker. And so I was just and always dude, really magic trees. Magic trees were busting. Yeah. One yeah I was doing magic trees. Yep, oh, yep. Yeah. And um, okay. but it was it was I was terrible. And so anytime there would be like a drop party or or any type of giveaway thing i'm like oh dude i'm there i need this cash so did the you, drop did parties you ever uh, frequent the spark max stream a lot um yeah yeah no I, I i used to give away so much shit because oh, before yeah. before twitch changed their or i think i don't know or i think it was just jagex he used to do the sub giveaways so if you subscribed yeah. he, would, he did sub giveaways it was yeah. insane the amount the amount of shit he was giving away was crazy it was awesome well man. like even back in the day, so when he did, like, you know, he used to do Spark. He still does Spark back live, I think, but maybe not as much. But back in the day, like, when I was a dude, when I was a kid, he was, like, on YouTube. And he was mm. doing giveaways back then. So, like, I would be in the comments, like, hi, Spark, love the video. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> you know? oh my God. Uh, so, yeah, I've just um. I always really enjoyed the giveaways. And so when I started streaming, it was just something that I really enjoyed. And so... In RS3, like I said, I used to play bat back in the day. And so in that game, I was like a merchant kind of guy. And so I had made a lot of GP. I had, I had, I don't know, like, and maybe not as much as some people, but I had like 10 bill or so. And so when I started streaming, I would do like a giveaway um, just throughout the stream or whatever. And so that was a lot of fun. I eventually quit, though, because some guy pissed me off. He was like really ungrateful for like somebody had donated like a, a green Halloween mask. And this guy was like mad about it. And, um, I like quit doing giveaways for a long time after that. Cause it just soured me to it. But when I came back, I had started playing old school and I was killing Zola. I was on a main account when I first started back. And, um, I was just like, shoot, I'm making like two, three mil an hour. I'm just going to give away like, a little giveaway every hour throughout the stream. That'll be fun. And so it started really small. I think my first, I do like goodie bag giveaways. And so my first goodie bag was like 10 mil total. And the top prize was like an abyssal whip. And people just came in and they were like, oh, this is really fun. And, um, you know, I had a, I had a regular and he came and he's like, yo, here's a ZGS. Give this away. And it just kind of blew up to where everyone just thought it was really fun. So they all started giving me all their gold. And um, that's basically it. I actually don't even make money. I don't even play a main account anymore. I'm an Iron Man. Like, <laughs> everything's donated. Give, at this everything point, to give away. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Every, <laughs> there's like so many. And, and part of it too is what at is this point. What is bro? Damn. Yeah. You know, it's funny when they banned, um, they banned like the, the Duel Arena and the people were doing the, people were doing. Um, Death matching? no the it was like the money the, the money the re-roll for subs yeah people were yeah. doing that and so when that got banned i had a i had a streamer reach out to me and he's like dude how are you affording to do these giveaways i need to figure this out and i'm like dude people just give me the money <laughs> <laughs> At this point, not, it, <laughs> that's what i was you didn't do re-roll did you you just give it away no, you don't do any re no, because like no, I'm not, no, no, you, you just give it away because the pk a lot of the pk like the pvp community they would like pk yeah. if they got like some big pks they would give the shit away and then do re-rolls you know yeah to, no it's but. just for fun you know it's it's for me it's like obviously it's a good way to promote the stream like that's probably where i get most of my new viewers from mm. but for me it's like nostalgic you know it's nice to be the guy like bringing joy to new players like that was my favorite part of the game so it's cool to be able to give that back to people um but yeah no like uh it's hard to replicate that though and i think now what it is too is like like hamzy hamzy started in my stream looking for gold like he was coming in for like <laughs> three mil and now he he's like doing top, he's doing top like 20 hours a day so it's a lot of people <laughs> that started as noobs and now they're doing like toa and these in-game bosses so they come in and they they donate some back but yeah i've i think mm. i i did the numbers for my anniversary stream in november and uh at that point we'd given away 50 bill um holy, holy shit. That's a, 50 that's bill Mustang gt that's in total <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it, it's been fun and and that's the thing so the way that i do it is 
is I have the goodie bag and I kind of like portion out how much how expensive the prizes I want to be in there. And I always try to give away a little less than we're getting. That way, like the goodie bag just keeps getting like bigger and bigger. So like I said, I started with like a 10 mil goodie bag. And now we have like a four bill goodie bag, you know? And so holy shit, bro. It just God gets damn. it's and been like getting bigger and bigger over the years. It's kinda it's kinda really- like evened out. Like we we've stuck around four bill for a while now, but I know you it's, keep track uh, pretty well of like who's donating what. I don't know if you want to call them out or not, but like, who, oh God. like your top donor, like how much have they donated? I'm not going to call them out by name because I, I don't know. Some people don't want to be harassed about like giving away GP, you know, like, yeah, because people message them. But uh, yeah, I have a list here. Let's see. So, OK, this guy was like a death match. He, he's like disappeared, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, he donated like six bill Jeez. by himself. Yeah, there's there is Damn. there is uh, 10 people that have donated over. Quick math. That's two thousand dollars. Twenty five hundred dollars. That's twenty five hundred dollars. Six bill. Yeah, it was, you know, 30, 30 to 40 cents well, a mil right sure now. Some, Not that I'm sure I know. you gave some of that away. Like, he's a while ago, yeah, that's, ever. that's a lot yeah, more. Because so, in the past, it was worth more. Yeah, so, so Beggar, I mean, like, I, I have a question. When, when are you going to, you know, cash out? Like, you, you, you don't have to tell. Like, we can cut it from the podcast, <laughs> but when are you going to cash out, bro? <laughs> no, I, you know what's funny is, like, I thought about, like, what do, I have all this stuff now that people have given me. And, like, what if I ever, you know, I don't plan on quitting stream. I've been having a great time, and hopefully, you know. We'll keep going, but I'm like, oh man, what do I do with all this gold? I have to like find someone to give it to to give it away or whatever. When yeah, I, at some point, what do you do? Bro, like, I'm gonna like, do, like, do, do it. What better happen listen, is listen. You, you give it all to Hamzy. I'm rolling to Hamzy live stream. I'm hitting him with the exclamation mark play. All right, and I'm pulling a T with me and dude, me and behind the scenes, me and Hamzy work something out. I get a T boat. We go sell that. We split it. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna uh, put it in my will it, 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 in case of death. Give the goodie bag to him. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I love that. Thing, if you wanted to cash out, you already would have. If you would have done rerolls on all those giveaways, you would have. Oh uh, yeah. my gosh! Out. Yeah, <laughs> cash but, out. you're honorable well, man for that, honestly. And I, well, and I think that's part of why people give me true. the gold. It's because they that's like true. the way that I'm doing it, and it's just. Yeah. You know, there's no we have very few rules, like the only rules are to help prevent like people from trying to cheat kind of thing. There's no like, oh, you got to follow the channel. Like, it's just if if somebody comes in and they want to like win some gold, like it's just it's really I just try to keep it like as wholesome and fun as possible for people. So, yeah, I feel like um, there isn't really anyone doing giveaways the way you are right now. I feel like there was a few cats back in the day. years ago um who actually had you know like real honorable giveaways you know like not what like a- just make something and give it away off the bat rerolling for subs uh i mean you have like a you have like a set you know rules and and the way it works and and like you yeah. kind of have everything figured out with it there's a there's a handful of people that are still doing them um on the regular that are doing them like really wholesome i would say and like not real world trading like there's so many people that are just like real world trading the the gold and like a kind of shady like not a shady way but like a gray area you know like um but uh you any names you want to name <laughs> no i haven't kept up i haven't kept up really since <laughs> any they, names uh, you shout any names that you think of to shout out like of like good giveaway streamers that too yeah that's that's probably a better one. uh or, well, or you can start head shit. Start some shit right, right now. Do it, bro. Do it. <laughs> right off Morgan the Cooley. <laughs> Dude, he like comes to my stream sometimes and he'll like drop Is bits he still and stuff. Around? Yeah, you know, he was a no. nice guy. He was a nice guy, but like, yeah, he like straight up was like, oh yeah, I run a bot farm and I have 4,000 bots. And that's how like, he was giving away like 2 billion GP a day. Dude. It was crazy. That guy's streams were out of hand. This guy's named Morgan Cooling. He used to stream. Yeah. Uh, and he used to do ridiculous giveaways, like insane amounts of GP and like the amount of rules this guy was just breaking, I think without even knowing that he was breaking was insane. People would ask him how he had so much money and he would just be like, yeah, I have a bot farm. You know, it's like just openly talking about it on stream. And then when he would give away GP, he would also be like, you can join this giveaway 
and and you can get the GP and it's okay if you don't play RuneScape. You can just make an account and then here's a link to this website where you can real world trade the gold. Like that was oh part of that was literally God. part of his dream. Like he like he was openly being like he had no idea. I don't think he even knew that there was There's anything no wrong with it. Because he was no just way. so open. He was like, yeah, like if you don't play, that's fine. Just make an account real quick, get the gold, and then trade it off on this website. Get some free You're money away, winning $50. Like, the way I like, found him is is he was giving like a hundred mil to anyone who raided him. And yeah. somebody <laughs> told me, and I'm like, bro, I'm there. And at first, <laughs> yeah, same, at first I thought bro. like at first I thought it was like a staker that like had just gotten lucky or whatever but then i like i followed his channel or whatever and i saw like every day he's giving out like billions and I, after like a week i'm like okay this is something something sketchy here and i, I kind of like distanced myself at that point but um but he seemed like you know besides the rule breaking he seemed like a really nice guy yeah you know, um, after after talking to people <laughs> that go into the shady side of the uh the giveaways i realized that they just look at runescape completely different than the way we look at it like to them it's right. like it is yep. a entity in which they can make money and have a job and support they don't even, their, they they, don't even care about yeah, the game it's just it's just it's just so different the way like we look at the game and like after True. i talked to them about it it's just like they're they're actually the furthest thing from like they're not trying to be malicious they just have such a different aspect and feeling towards the game that they like the the game is nothing to them you know it's just this it's a medium 100%. in which they can work through it's so yeah, yeah. different like and it's that's one thing I didn't, I didn't learn yeah. that until twitchcon i was like oh okay so it's, it's just it's a completely different mindset towards it all Anyways, that's just, I want to interject that. There's a whole community of them out there, that's man. That's true. Beggar, do you do the giveaways on a specific day every week? Yeah, I do them, I do them every Friday, Saturday. Every Friday, Saturday. Well, if you want yeah. for gold, pull up to the Beggar live stream. Also, yeah. you got my word. I'm going to pull up, and I'm going to give you a goodie bag. I got you. Hey, all right, dude. I'll come yeah. If in. you let me win the next goodie bag, I will give you half of it back. <laughs> I will, I will roll up and type exclamation mark play, and I will try to win Heck something. Yeah, dude. So, yeah, I get accused uh, I was of embarrassed uh, of tide play. I've I've watched your giveaway shot. Like, I've been I've lurked in your stream a few times and watched the giveaways. And, like I was like, I'm not gonna tie play. Like this is like if I win, that'd be I feel embarrassed. <laughs> but, you know, I like, win. <laughs> no, dude, I hey, I encourage it, man. Listen, I'd rather give it to like people I know are playing the game and uh, you know, heck if yeah, I pull ever up, win, I'm just letting you know if I ever win, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna try to start to win, okay? If I ever win, you gotta give me like just stay next to me for an extra ten seconds and I will alk the item in front of everybody. I will just <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I mean, we got, we I, got an Ellie in the good. The Ellie's like the top prize right now. When you guys come pull up, you take it home. I will I've not. I will not other, out the Ellie. By the way, I'll I've keep seen the other okay. giveaway streamers. I've seen other giveaway streamers. Someone wins the marbles fair and square, and then they check the chat history, and they're like, "Oh, you've been following for one month." Like, and they'll just re-roll. They'll just say, yeah. "Fuck you!" Like, you're not a regular. Yeah, I don't care about any of that. That's, but every now and then, early on, I had to like. I, I don't care if you follow. I don't care if you like, even if you don't like me, like if I have giveaway in the title, it's like, that's, that's what you're there for. And I, and that, that's, that was something I came to terms with like super early. It's like, I'm not going to care like why people are there. If they have a good time and they enjoy the stream, like they'll follow and they'll come back. And, um, what are, what, what, what are your rules to mitigate your problems? I'd like to hear what, 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 what issues do you face? And then, yeah. yeah, what do you do to address those so issues? The, bi the, biggest, the biggest issue was, like, alt accounting when uh, we got started where people just make, like, 15 Twitch accounts, right? And they'll enter, like, the giveaway on them. And right. it, at the end of the day, it's like, you're not going to be able to stop all of that, unfortunately. But we try to make it as fair as possible for, like, the regulars and stuff. Um, so, like, one thing we do is we have, like, a total level. So for like regular prizes it's a 500 total level for our big prize it's a thousand total which is super slack honestly because it's pretty so easy slack, bro <laughs> yeah you it's never. pretty easy um and that, that's basically it. and then we make when you enter the marble you have to like type your runescape username and um basically that is that is one of the things we use to like basically i have a bunch of mods that will play like detective bro and they'll like stalk these people <laughs> and like see like are they going to streams are they regular chatting like i don't know they'll they'll, Dude, they'll find these people is down. like 
it is like next level, man. These yeah. people are like actually like one hundred percent paying attention to every little thing that's going on. They're 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 behind the scenes all talking to each other. Yo, check this chat out. Like, what do you guys think of this? Like, they're yeah. they're, they're thinking on top of it, man. And some of them are like mods and like multiple streams that like do giveaways. So they'll like they'll like pull up the chat logs and see like Ooh. has this person ever said that they are like have they ever entered a marble with like another RuneScape name or something like that? And they'll like match. They'll like put the logs into like files and like control F search. Like they go hard, man. It, they're crazy. So early on, it was really bad. We were busting alts like every day, left and right. Um, it's really not that common anymore. I think. I think How would you address part, busting an alt? Oh, oh it's the one of the best things of all time, dude. It's one of the <laughs> most. It is one. It's it's the funniest moment you can see in a beggar live stream when he finds an alt. It is okay, just so like, <laughs> go ahead. Here's the tell thing. how it goes down. <laughs> I used to make like a big content thing out of it where we would like pull up their log and like show the evidence and like bust. And we play like the, we play like Judge Judy core music. Oh and stuff. my gosh. <laughs> I've got like a gavel and like chat would rule on it and whatnot. Um, I used to go all out and we would like roast them, right? <laughs> I recently, like within the last few months, there was a guy, he had like messaged me on Twitter and he was like flaming, dude, he was so mad. He was so mad. And um, anyways, I found out that he was like not lying. He, he like, he had, he was like, oh, that's my girlfriend's account or something. And we were like calling BS on him or whatever. I recently saw like, oh, they both stream and like they were like, that was legit their accounts or whatever. And so now I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm going to chill out on roasting people so bad because that guy was really upset. Yo, so some advice. Now, now, don't, don't, don't chill out. You should double yeah, down. Fuck it. No, no, no. Just yeah, honestly. Yeah. 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 One guy. You're like 90, you know, yeah. No one has 100% clear, right? You're like 99%. Yeah. And it's fine. It's yeah. Just honestly, person. double down. <laughs> Hype it up even more. Like, just like. <laughs> if you if, if, think of all the giveaways you've done and think about how great Hamzy just said the content was, if we got to make yeah. one guy have a bad night. I mean, <laughs> yeah, hey, it'll be all right. You know, you, you give him a little, give him a little payment on the side. He'll be good. Next week you're gonna pull it. Next week you're gonna pull up an account. It's gonna be called T Papa Two. That's what's gonna happen next week, bro. You better find T Papa Two in the show. <laughs> the way we do it. The way we do it now is if we find one, we'll actually let them keep playing for like months. Because the thing is, if you ban them, they're just gonna make like more accounts. So if we find out that like somebody's cheating, we'll just let them keep playing. Mm. And then when they win, like maybe a month or two later, you know, it just gives us more time to like make sure that they can't. That's really cheat smart though. There's no point know, calling them smart. out if they're not winning. It doesn't matter, you know? Yeah. Right. It's like they're just cause cause we know that that's the account that's doing it. So it's like, well, we'll just ban it when it's when it's time to ban it or whatever. We had a guy <laughs> win like an we had a guy win like a um it was like a grassy rapier or something. And uh, I'm like, oh, sorry, dude. Like, uh, Ripperoni. And uh, that's so good because you've been playing the entire month and then you fucking yeah. lose. <laughs> it so does good. look a little, I don't like to do it too much, like, because uh, it does look a little suspicious because, like, most of the chat doesn't know what's going on, but it's like, yeah, we. We caught him like entering all these whatever, but yeah, no, it's it's a it's a lot of the the mod squad really does all the work. I'm I'm lazy really as heck, cool. so <laughs> yeah, they're really into it, man. Yeah, it's been fun, but yeah, early on it was really bad. Like there were there was like tons. There's so many, and they and you see them in like you'll see like a new streamer pull up doing giveaways, and you'll go in their stream, and it's like 15 people, and it's like oh yeah, this is these are all the same people like. There, there's people i think obviously it's less now because there's not as many giveaway streams but like i think there's definitely people that were doing this like full-time for like selling gold or whatever like entering giveaways or whatever on these multiple accounts mm, that makes sense. which which kind of like conflicted me a little bit early on because i was like <laughs> It was clear that this was like more than just like a hobby like these people were like full-time in it right 
And I'm like, and at the time, that was when all the news was coming out about like Venezuela's currency, like crashing and everyone playing RuneScape <laughs> or whatever. And I'm thinking like, <laughs> dude, if I ban this guy, like little Susie over in Venezuela is not going to have dinner, you know? Like, <laughs> oh, God, what do I do? Bro, like, bro, sorry, bro, dude, you broke the game rules. Beggar's lucky got like <laughs> the, the nicest consciousness like in any streamer I've met, dude. Like, what? Damn, does, bro. Dude. Oh my that gosh. That reminds me of the Bro, little Susie one ain't eating if little Susie comes to my stream and I have to ban her dad. I don't care, bro. I do not care. Out, little Susie. It just reminds me of the guy. Bro. Me and Hamzy were in bigger stream the other day, and there's just some guy just randomly flaming Hamzy, bro. Oh. Like for no, like just for no reason. So I just started fucking jumping on him too, flaming him. Beggar's like, Beggar's being so nice about it, dude. <laughs> so nice. Okay, this has happened. This has Wait, happened story. multiple let's, let's times. Yeah, can we here. back up? Back up. Let me get the yeah, whole story. Up. Full story. Yes. yes. Every time Hamzy raids my stream. I, I, I have a hobby where I go into Hamzy's chat or his stream and I'll like try to clip the most out of context videos of him just being like an <laughs> asshole. So I have like a collection at this point of him like just flaming people. Like my favorite one, this guy comes in his chat and he's like, yo, Hamzy, check out my collection log. I just got an Armadale. And Hamzy, <laughs> Hamzy's like, dude, nobody gives a fuck about your collection log, dude. Get the hell out of here. No, no, no. <laughs> that, guy, that guy came in. Okay, context. That guy came in and said, first chat message ever. First chat, mes first chat message ever. Hey, is it okay if I link my collection log for Sarah? And I was like, um, you know, I prefer if you maybe join the Discord and drop the picture there. I don't really like first time chatters dropping links. And then he goes ahead and drops the link. <laughs> Yeah. Like, and, it was a, and it was a sketchy ass like but see we don't put any of the context in the clip that's the that's the fun of it you gotta just clip the part where hamzy blows up right and so every time hamzy raids me i'll pull up one of these clips <laughs> and i'll be like guys can you believe this guy he's such a oh dude he's the biggest ass bro i can't stand this guy look how look how he treats his viewers and i'll i'll pull up these clips and so we did that like a week or two ago um I'm like, this guy's such a dick, bro. Look at him. Look at him. He's making fun of me. And like, it's Hamzy dressed up as me. And he's doing like a beggar <laughs> impression. And so oh this guy my in gosh. my chat, this guy in my chat thinks that like, he, he whooshed, bro. Like he totally didn't get it. He thinks that Hamzy's like bullying me, which makes no sense. Cause Hamzy just raided the stream. So like, obviously we're joking. And this guy's like, what a loser, dude. I hate this guy. And he's like defending me. So I feel kind of bad for this dude because he's totally just missed the whole plot here. Well, that man prison had four Joe. brain cells. Bro, can't see a prison Joe go to war. It's like 3 a.m., dude. Oh I was going to let it go. I was going to let it go. I was like, this oh, is clearly some fun, internet bro. gremlin. I was I like, was having too much fun. I, I knew it was a random, too. That's the weird part. It's like, oh. I don't know why this guy's riding so hard for beggar because he's a, clearly a random. If he was a regular, he would know me because we have the same... Uh, we have a lot of the same viewers. So, like, it's just some random, like, just stepping up for no reason to to defend Beggar for some reason when he just doesn't get what's going on. We I was going to let guy. it go, man. We I was going to completely let it go. We got this guy into voice call. We got him into a voice chat. <laughs> Prison Joe yeah. brought him in. I in, got him into a voice into chat. He would not turn call. his camera on, dude. He would not turn his camera on. He was he would not turn it. We kept telling him to turn his camera on. He could he just wouldn't do it, bro. And then he and then he started messaging me saying, oh, so you get all your friends to gang up me in a Discord call? I was like, I'll, I, then I called him. I called him on Discord, just me. I called him. And he just sat there, let it sit there for like 15 minutes. I was, and I kept pinging him in your Discord. I was like, I'm waiting, bro. I'm calling you. I was like, I was like, pick up. Are you so there? They're, like, I was... <laughs> they're on, in Discord. They're in my Discord. <laughs> and they're like typing in the chat, flaming each other. And I'm just... You know, part of me is like, oh, this is good content. I'm going to let it go. The other part of me is like, I don't really want to get involved. I'm going to let them sort this out. This is fun anyways. But then my chat's like, bro, get in the Discord, dude. Join the Discord. See what's going on. And so I'm like, all right, guys, you want to see what's going on? Let's hop in here. I joined the Discord. And oh. within the literally, the, the Discord makes the bloop sound. And I just hear... This dude is like spamming the N word. And I immediately. That's not funny. I immediately <laughs> leave the Discord, bro. Like, bro, I one ticked it so fast. Yes, and I'm just like, all right, I think I heard enough of that, guys. Anyways, <laughs> uh, dude, clearly, the worst. 
<laughs> Clearly white guy too. Oh, just a fucking white what? guy just throwing it around, bro. And I'm like, dude. <laughs> I mean, we can't say for certain because he didn't turn his camera on like we asked him to. But like what? his hey, voice, this just like, Hamzy <laughs> defending racist dude wow his voice, his Not voice I, I guess we're in like march a, now i guess it's okay yeah well, we're good we're good his voice march sounded like a teenage now. white kid man no, no. oh my god <laughs> dude i'll tell you though that guy so he did he did eventually join the call with me <laughs> He did. That guy eventually did join the join the voice call with me, and I told him everything about himself he didn't want to hear. And then he proceeded to tell me. He told me he was five five. I asked him, I was like, "How big are you, bro?" Because he kept saying he was gonna come to my house and beat me. I gave him my address. I gave him my physical address. I said, <laughs> "I said, come on down, buddy. I'll be here." I gave him Dude. my physical address. I typed it in the chat. I said, "Come on down." I was like, "How big are you?" He he said five five six, one hundred and sixty pounds. I said, "It's the internet, bro. You could lie." <laughs> Say you're seven five. Why would you tell me you're five six oh one sixty, bro? Oh what are you God. doing, dude? That was that was like it's as crazy. far as I've ever gone with some internet troll, dude. Because you dude, see these was, guys, you know. You guys shot. You guys actually surprised me how far you guys took it. Bro, I wasn't bro. gonna go that far, dude. I figured dude. you guys were. It's, I figured you guys were having fun. I figured. I yeah, was I literally, dude. I was like, okay, this is some <laughs> random internet gremlin. I was like, you can let this go. Like this guy's just talking shit to me for no reason. I was like, I'm just gonna like act like this guy doesn't exist. And Seth came in with the raid with me. So like, you know, he he was just Bro, not letting all it go. I, saw was, I didn't need no context. Dude was flaming my mans in the chat. And I just come after him. Can I come after these people? Like they come after people. I'll call them. I'll fucking I'll sit and voice call them. I'm just as much as a fucking asshole. I'll sit there all day with you, bro. Dude, we gotta, I, gotta start gotta give doing a taste this. Of medicine. Gotta give a taste of medicine. No, seriously, Seth, I think like a thing that like we should start doing, I'll start doing if you do so I'm not alone. But like when someone starts piping up, I'm gonna tell them to pod disc call cam on. <laughs> Cam on, dude. Cam on. I, I've I'm never gonna seen Bro, I'm going to set cowards. up a scene. I'm going to set up a scene, and the next time a first time chatter comes in talking shit, I'm saying, pot disc right now, cam on. And I'm switching scenes and I'm waiting. And then they're just going to look like the <laughs> biggest fucking bitch, bro. It's innately dude. cowardly behavior to come after somebody like that in a fucking chat. So, like, oh, they're yeah. not going to cut. They're not going to pull yeah. up. Dude, it's he was happen. prison. Joe was asking this guy, "Yo, I'm in Beggar's Discord right now. Join the voice call." And then I'm like, "There's no way this is actually about to go down." It's like I'm about to go to bed, dude. And I'm like, and and I look in Beggar's Discord and I see prison joe in the voice call and there's immediately like three four guys already in there just to watch one of my mods is in there yes bro one of the beggars mods in there he's just smoking a cigar dude fucking bidholms <laughs> bidholms is my <laughs> hero dude bidholms pulls up and just like on his phone and he's outside <laughs> dude, you could tell he was out in public like he was in the middle of his day doing stuff like he stopped what he was doing in public and pulled up on his phone and he's just smoking and sitting he's watching smoking like back, smiling he's watching the shit go back. down and i'm like okay i guess i mean dude like he's literally mm. like doing this to defend me i was like i guess i gotta jump in the disc call so i'm like i'm gonna jump in uh, so I jump in, and then the guy actually joins after. So he starts just yelling as soon as it comes in, and he's just yeah. yelling nonsense, not letting anyone. Oh, Dude, it sounded like a bitch. fucking Modern Warfare 2 <laughs> lobby. Like, this guy was just throwing out every slur you could imagine. And, like, as soon as Beggar joins the stream, I hear Beggar join, and I see his uh, little avi, and I was like, oh this is not good and i know he's live and then he one tick leaves the call oh and i look over God. to beggar street but i just see him looking oh. all like, embarrassed. <laughs> like i'm sorry guys like <laughs> yeah she I honestly fuck chatters life, so you bad. know I, I, I felt bad so I, yeah, I, I dropped the i dropped the sub and i said sorry so i'm sorry for sorry for derailing your stream that day but that was fun it was a good time oh, no, it, oh it that's was content good. bro <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was good content. I, you know, I, I, I at first I felt bad for the dude because I was like, oh, this poor guy's just trying to stick up for me or whatever. But then then the racial slurs, I was like, OK, all right. And then I think, dude, I think that was Bidholms, uh, ended up, Bidholms ended up like per banning him from everything. So there was GG. a there, there was another situation uh, where something similar happened on Beggar's stream, which was hilarious and also sad oh. because it, it ruined Beggar's one of his best clips of all time, dude. Oh, wait. OK. <laughs> so, so beggar oh no no not that story but but uh so uh, uh i just this just reminded me so beggars out there killing lizardman shamans on his iron man you know he's hunting the dragon warhammer oh, super rare yeah, drop. everyone wants to be there everyone wants to be there for the dragon warhammer drop you never know when it's gonna happen kind of reclined content hanging out 
Beggar gets a, a, a raid from some random viewer. It's like two or three viewers, you know, and and yeah. and and like he was saying before, sometimes when Beggar gets raids, he'll pull up clips of uh, the person who's raiding him. Yeah. So he pulls up uh, a it was clip. Like her top, it was her top clip. Oh. She was a uh, FPS game shooter. And, yeah, uh, it's something with proximity chat. And like he's got their clip on the screen while he's killing shamans and oh, literally no. on the same tick dude some i don't know how this clip was allowed on twitch like it didn't get deleted someone just drops the n-word in the proximity <laughs> chat video game Seth, that's yeah, not funny that stop laughing tick. this it's guy's not, not funny dragon warhammer the misfortune fuck you yeah yeah they're, ye- they're yelling the n-word and and the thing was this this uh this lady she she didn't know that that was even clipped on her channel and so she's like mortified because I'm like, hey, everybody, check out this great streamer. Let's see what she's been up to. And it's just like racial clips. And I'm like, oh, what the God. hell? And she's like, I had no idea that was a clip. And so it was really awkward for her, too. And I felt bad. So now I still play people's clips. But yeah, that 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 was really awkward. I deleted the VOD because I'm like, good Lord. It's it's crazy, but um, so you got the drop as that played. He got, got the, the drop, drop like <laughs> the clip was fine. The clip was fine, but I had to like delete the vod, and so like the chat was missing from it, and um, and it was like a really short clip too, because I had to go I had to go back and reclip it. I think before I deleted vod, because yeah, in the original clip, it was like boom boom, Holy. and. Uh, yeah. So it's just you going like, oh, hammer, and it just cuts off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, basically. Oh, nice ham. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to tell the story, Hamzy, of the other time uh, I, I, every, I, I told him, I messaged him like this last time this happened. I said, Hamzy, I'm going to have to quit doing this, this stick where I get mad at you because one time early on, this was when Hamzy like had first started streaming. I did the whole bit with the, oh, look at this guy, <laughs> and and. People don't, I, I guess I have like a dry sense of humor. So like, it seems like I'm really upset or whatever. And so like, one of my regulars goes into Hamzy's stream and he's like, nice seven viewers, you asshole. Like, <laughs> and, it's just, time, dude. and it's just like flaming Hamzy. And you know what? I don't even think Hamzy had rated me because he's still streaming. No, and we so were both Hamzy, like, the has same no time. idea. Hamzy doesn't know what's going on. I don't think this guy is just in here like flaming him. Oh man, I'm sorry, Ham. <laughs> you're just too good of an actor man that's what it is i guess so. yeah it was uh it was out we were both live at the same time and i had i said something about beggar like just like roasting him you know like friends do and someone took my clip and sent it in his chat so while oh, he's yeah. streaming while he's streaming he shows the 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 clip and then one of his viewers is like, oh, that guy's live right now. That clip was two minutes ago. And he comes in my stream and starts just <laughs> roasting me. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Uh, and then he ended up gifting five. <laughs> that's what's up. See, that's a, that's that's a right. That's the regular viewer right there. See, Have you guys, guys, yeah, 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 that's the regular. He ended up gifting five <laughs> after he realized. Out, it out. Have you guys ever like had a, a shit talker and then you pulled up their sh- like you click on their account and then you realize that they stream? And then you pull up their yeah. clips to like roast them. Yes, oh, dude. dude. I do. I go one worse. I I pull up their like follow list of who they're following on Twitch, and like, oh my I've had gosh. some good content from that. Oh, that's so and smart. Also, I haven't thought of that. One of the tools that my mods use, it like it. I don't know how it works, but he has like everyone's chat history from different streams, and so like I've and I don't do this anymore because I feel like it's. This one's too far. I, I've only done this like twice when I felt like this guy's got it coming. But like I would pull up their chat <laughs> from like another stream and be like reading their just the most awkward messages that they're sending and like Oh, that's the best. Oh yeah, I don't do that I anymore. I feel like that's up, a please. <laughs> that's like a violation of privacy, I feel like. And I think it's actually TOS, so like I quit doing that, but I'd done oh, it like yeah. once or twice and um yeah, um, I think I I pissed off like a clan leader one time, and he he really got upset about. Oh no! <laughs> I had I had a really I good I one. I had a really oh, lucky no. one actually. <laughs> Not a uh, RuneScape clan leader. Those guys mean business. <laughs> yeah. <they're laughs> oh serious. man. Dude, you better watch. When I, when I think fucking RuneScape clan leader, I picture like a hundred and thirty-five pound soaking wet 
like Eastern European dude. It's that just, same like, guy that was yelling th- slurs at me and Hamzy. It's the same guy. <laughs> well, the it same was type just of guy. The same guy. Yeah. <laughs> dude, it was I, just the amount of uh, of it was like I hit a beehive. Like I, I there was a lot of people that were very upset on his behalf and it was for it was a lot so i was like oh i God. i had one where i banned <laughs> this chatter and then he came and found me in game to come talk shit because he was banned in the twitch chat and i don't know if this plugin even still exists or maybe i just don't use it anymore but you know the the streamer plugin oh yeah yeah, yeah. it shows your twitch name above uh your runescape character in yeah. game so when he came in game it showed a Twitch uh, name above it, which only means he's a streamer. And so I saw that in game. And as he's talking shit to me in game, I was like, wait, what's that above your head? I was like, you stream. And then I pulled up his stream and like, I mean, he was smaller than me, which is, you know, I'm small. So he's very, very small. And <laughs> <he> had... <laughs> we're talking about stream size, not wiener size. I, right? Just... I might have just been uh, going after his physical appearance and, and whatnot. And, uh, Deserved, so, bro. <laughs> uh, I, I ended up unbanning him in chat to see if he wanted to have a rebuttal. And there was there was not one. <laughs> I've, uh, oh, I've done with beggars and I've definitely pulled up chat logs and roasted people pretty hard or just roasted them straight up. I've never had a streamer though that I've found, but I did. It was uh, one of my favorites. My favorite one of those ever is in Zoe's stream. Some guy was talking shit about her appearance or something, something about her appearance. And I forgot which one of her mods found his new streams and he had a fucking VOD. And it's just fucking him killing Dagonos. He's a main. He's in the worst gear possible, too. Just killing Dagonos. It's just like he has a fucking Delta Airlines landing strip as a fucking forehead. And he's like <laughs> zoomed. His face is like oh, two inches yes. from the camera, bro. And he no. got fucking incinerated yes. by her chat. It was so fucking funny. I was really far on my chair. That is one of my favorite. Like, that's one of my favorite roasts for sure. It was great. It was <laughs> it's, okay. it's okay to bully bullies. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Right. Hey, 100%. Bring that's back nice. bullying. <laughs> and, <laughs> and what else, Ignoble? Exists, bro. We Ignoble, what else do you want to bring back? <laughs> hey, oh, shut up, T Papa. <laughs> uh, do, uh, do you guys want to get into the Twitter thread? Oh, yeah, there's uh, a lot on there. Yeah, okay, but one one quick one. So I was watching Hams the other the day, and uh, dude, Hams was so pissed, and I don't know, he was doing hard mode tops, like, maybe even with you. <laughs> He's and quite stressed. Dude, he was dude, he was stressed, he was pissed, and I know he was mad. And uh it, he goes into Zarpus and this guy comes in and he drops a clip. And then Hamzy's like, I can't watch this, I'm doing Zarpus. And then the guy like <laughs> says another thing. And I don't know what it is. And then dude, Hamzy dies in Zarpus and he's so pissed, dude. And he's just sitting there in complete silence. He hasn't said a word since he told the guy he's not watching his clip. So Hamzy's dead. Just... He's sitting there in silence. He pulls up a clip. He watches the clip. And then he just goes, okay, dude. And then he just closed the clip and sat there in silence for another 30 seconds, dude. And so, dude, the you, clip you was wanna know. horrendous. It was the most like unimportant clip I've ever seen in my life. And he just sat there. <laughs> And I was like, oh my god, like that was that was like the content I go on Twitch for. Like the awkwardness, you could cut it with a fucking knife, dude. And I was you just like, the funny it thing was about that beautiful. Clip? Yeah, dude, say it. You can tell him about your That was my clip. I don't think I'm the one that clipped it, but it was one of my viewers. We had rated him, and one of the viewers was like, Hamzy, watch this beggar clip. And it's just, dude, sometimes, listen, my viewers, they get like some of the best clips ever. Bro. But sometimes they're like the dumbest clip. Bro. That, like, it's just me like... And, I'm, and they're like, oh, no, clip it, bro. He farted or whatever. I don't know. It's like, bro, it, it was, was the like worst that. clip I've ever seen. Uh. And Hamzy was just like... Okay, dude. <laughs> Just closed it, dude. It had no I, comment, bro. I, I forgot Hamzy. you were in the chat that night, dude. That was yeah. so funny, dude. Oh yeah, I yeah. clicked the part where Hamzy's like, I don't have time to watch this clip, and then he immediately planks, <laughs> and I and I titled it like karma for not watching clips or something like that. that was, oh that was my good. gosh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that was a rough night. <laughs> have you is that the worst you've ever you've been pissed on stream hamzy or i got open this to every like what's the worst you've been on stream how mad have you been? um honestly that that is like 
it, that might be the top for me. Like, I don't know, man. Dating back to like First Cape Inferno. But like, I don't know. When it comes to First Cape Inferno, people are a lot more supportive than like learning hard mode Tob. Because if you're learning hard mode Tob, you've already established that you know how to do things in the video game. So people are not like as supportive when you die you know there's a lot more people giggling at you and telling you what you should have done and you know so i don't know man that might have been uh, that might have been <laughs> top for have me you, honestly have you guys ever deleted a vod because you got so upset with anybody no the only vod i've ever deleted was back in the day we used to like watch elf three minutes at a time and uh, <laughs> it was a channel day, point reward. Yeah, it was a channel point reward to watch a movie three minutes at a time, and I, I'd allow <laughs> it three times per stream. So we'd watch a movie on my stream over the course of two weeks. It was amazing. Anyways, uh, <laughs> one day I used like a sketchy site, and I like opened the site, and it's just like oh, the most no. aggressive <sighs> anal hentai porn. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, uh, I always, cause I had gotten like one dirty mm. ad one time on that website when I wasn't live. And I was like, okay, I'm not showing this website until I clear all the ads. And then I can watch the movie on stream. And that time I just raw dogged it. And it was just like so many tentacles, so many buttholes. It was just like, it was, <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. And then I just, I ended stream really quick. I deleted VOD and went live again. I'm like, all right, sorry, technical difficulties. We're back. There's no more buttholes. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think if you end like immediately, they can't clip because it'll, it'll say the it stream. It was literally, like, someone clipped it, downloaded it and put it in the discord within two no. minutes, bro. Yeah, it was, it was really? clipped, oh, downloaded wow. in the discord, just like instantly because they There's, knew I knew I was gonna do that, and yeah, they they were quick. There's true thing because I was I was gonna say one of the maddest times I've been on stream is when I broke my keyboard recently because my keyboard was not working. Like and my keyboard. Oh no! Work. I was in that raid. That was funny. Oh my god! My keyboard completely stopped working because I like earlier that day I spilled like one little droplet of fucking like I've had that keyboard for three years. Works great. I spilled one small droplet of fucking C4 fucking energy drink on it. I guess it got on like the audio side because that keyboard controls uh. a ton of my audio stuff. So it's. It's first off, it started to fuck with the audio. It would mute me, it'd mute the stream, then it'd go back up and it'd go back down. Then it was like doing this, like shooting back and forth. I couldn't fix it. And I kept fucking with it. I kept plugging it in, plugging it out. And then eventually the keyboard just went off completely. It stopped working. It shut off all my audio, shut off my microphone. I was just like talking to nobody. The music would stop playing. And I was just sitting there trying to fix it. And fucking, it just wasn't working. So I, I literally said earlier, I said, if this keyboard stops working, I'm going to smash it. And I was just fucking, <laughs> I was mad. But as soon as I smashed it, I ended the stream and the VOD didn't pick it up. So nobody could clip it on my stream. But luckily, ah. Jake C opened my stream right as I just like just fucking smashed the keyboard three times on my table. And we were able to get a clip from that. And now it's, oh, now nice. it's a great It was mode. probably so. one of the best time clips of all time, really, dude. Because yeah, they're, really. they're starting the warden. And it's a clip <laughs> from Jake C's channel. It's not, it's not from yeah. Seth's channel. It's from Jake C's channel. <laughs> and, and they start the boss. And Jake C's all like, guys, guys, Seth's not in the room yet. You started without him. Like, what do you guys doing like that just made him like he started without him and then he looks behind he's like where's seth where's seth and then he pulls up on his own screen he pulls up seth's stream (laughs) and you just immediately it just shows him immediately slamming his keyboard (laughs) literally somebody started it without prison joe dude you guys are dumb there's no way they just started it without prison joe Oh, I gotta see it's that. Timestamp time it. Put the clip in here. Oh, so. oh my I gotta god, it's insane. It's, it's a good clip. It's definitely a good clip. It's, really, it's, it's great. I'm really glad that he, he did that, though, because then there wouldn't be a clip of it. And now it's a great emote. It's a really good emote. So. It's one of the best. But, uh, oh, yeah, dude, I'll try to find that, it. Yeah. Probably that for me, and then when I was doing my first Cape Inferno, the maddest, I've definitely been on stream for sure. <laughs> But that was just clear. I was just mad at the keyboard, dude. I was so mad. I was, I was just because I was having such a great stream. Like it was fun. Like we were drinking, and it just fucked everything up. So I was just super mad. I was so frustrated. But I have two I yeah. two times I, I got I've really mad. mad. No, you're a bitch. No, I, I haven't been mad. I, I have had to. All right, you know, fuck you. You know what? Fuck you. Know what, T Pop? I will fucking. All right, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, be careful. I, 
<laughs> I I played a lot of League of Legends in my earlier lifetime, so I've I've taken out most of the anger that has been in my body. I, I'm like Zen now. There's very few things that can phase me. But going into I have deleted a VOD before, never out of anger, but because kind of similar to what T Papa had. Um apparently, I didn't know this, you know. Bukaki is something. It is a terminology in porn. But the way I, you know, I've heard of it is bukkake udon. It's a type of noodle. It's a Japanese like dish, right? And I, you know, wanted to pull it up on Google. Hey, what to be like, is hey, a bukkake? I, I actually don't know the sexual. Like, what is a bukkake sexually? I, I legitimately don't know. Yes, there's your that's cap. Do you know? I what was in the same. Is? I, I, I legitimately I don't I, I I know that has something to do with sex. I don't I don't know. I will I will, yeah, I will read it out loud for you. Man, I'll you really are X Mormon. According to Wikipedia. <laughs> 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 I, I am. <laughs> like I know I think it has something to do with right. Ignoble's a doctor. He go ahead and explain us what a bukkake is. Yeah, what's a bukkake? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. According to Wikipedia, bukkake is a sex act in which one participant is ejaculated upon by multiple participants. Okay. It is often portrayed in pornographic films. Okay, so is okay. It, is it on or in, or does it not matter? On, just on, on. on. Okay. Okay. facial, on. facial manner, okay. and all over the body too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's all I need. And here. so you know, I wanted to. I was showing like I wanted to show like, hey guys, you know, I'll show them noodles. You know, I literally just wanted to show them fucking noodles. <laughs> oh, the and I googled bukkake, <laughs> and my safe search was off. And oh what I got. God, <laughs> oh my god. Well, some poor woman getting fucking covered, bro. I'm just getting Just like leave. one woman, 18 <laughs> dudes in a fucking circle around her, just fucking beating Bla it. And blasted. I was like, I'll oh, turn this shit off. Get that's outstanding. Oh man! Ever since then, ever since then, I now use a separate browser yeah, for like when I'm streaming, and I make sure safe search is on. Like. I am never fucking up like that again. The stream, the stream only browser is the way to go. Everyone's like, oh, you use Firefox? I'm like, no, bitch. I use Chrome. You bitches get Firefox, okay? Here's just, uh, here's just <laughs> what I do. If I ever search something on the internet, I think I, I just search it first, and then, then, I, then I transition. I've thought about doing, you know how like when you turn on your computer, you can like switch profiles? Oh, a stream I've profile. Thought about making, I've thought oh, about yeah. making a stream profile. Because then you don't have to worry about yeah. anything. Yeah, I just rock That's Firefox true. for a stream. Because on, on Chrome for me, because like even if I would try to cover everything, sometimes you'd go to a website and it's like, oh, hey, would you like to sign in as, and it shows your entire yeah. full name, yeah, email that, that's address, why I use Firefox. address yeah. social security number. I'm like, where the, like, why did you, where the fuck did this come <laughs> from, bro? Imager used to do that to me. I'd fucking, it, would, it, would, it would recommend my, like, my personal email, which is literally my last name, first name, at, which I don't <laughs> care that much, but still, I'm like, god damn it, it's fucking, it's right You know there. what? Walmart incognito mode. Walmart doxed me one time incognito mode. I'm like, <laughs> why is this? How does it know? It like had all my stuff filled in, my address and everything. I'm like, gosh dang, bro. dude, it's Sounds it's crazy because like you've I, I've I've wanted to pull something up on Google Maps before. I just wanted to be, I just literally just wanted to see like how far you know some place was from another place. And weirdly, even an incognito. It fucking zooms in on your current location, like our general area. And I'm just like, oh fuck, jeez, go go go. Ah, uh, oh, anyways. Honestly, though, do you think someone would actually show up at your place? No, honestly, no. I, I'm not concerned about people showing up to my place. It's just that, like, I keep you know my life, a professional life and a streamer life, separate, and I would yeah. never fucking want like anybody putting those. True, you are a doctor. Look almost. at Ignoble. You think he's afraid of physical altercations? Yes. Wait, are you really a doctor? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a yes. real doctor. You know, I. Uh, I'm actually working on a PhD. So. Oh, I will be good a doctor, for you. That's awesome. Doctor. Yeah, he's gonna Thank pay you, for the uh, trips in the future, mm -hmm. but not now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, he's in, dude. Okay. He's actually here. Holy fuck. No, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be so fucking real. I'm so drunk right now it's literally insane i I drink an entire fifth oh. of fireball tonight dude i've never drank that much in my life <laughs> i'm so fucking drunk it's ludicrous you're fucking i'm fucking dude, dude hamzy dc so we were just waiting for him to reset yeah. his router so we're just gonna come back yeah. and it's gonna be you drunk yeah, <laughs> did you, did you it's, yeah i i, I it should okay. be started, yeah.
I put yeah, the timer down. It's just me. Beggar did it's good to see you, bro. How the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I've uh I've I've watched your stream a little bit, dude, but I, I, I don't know that much about you, dude. Can you if could you give me like a 30 second? No no no. No 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 no. Can you give me a five second introduction on onto yourself? No more than five seconds, otherwise I'm leaving the call. Can you give me okay, a five okay. second introduction? Yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a just chatting giveaway Iron Man uh, RuneScape streamer. Four, five. Oh, that was perfect. That was Damn. literally in five seconds, dude. You're actually say. insane. You're actually insane. Um. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay, oh, hey. back. Oh, hey. oh, no way. Hey. Oh, my God. Wait, Tasty, oh, where the fuck did you God. come from? He's <laughs> right here. I came from my house. Like your place, man. This is part of the... Yeah, sorry, Hamzy. You know? Oh, my God. Tasty, check it out. <laughs> Whoa, holy shit. Sorry, I just fucking... I did. I ended a... I ended an insane live stream. I'm so fucking drunk right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've, so Tasty, I've, what did you drink? What, 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 tell us, what, what, you, what did you go through? <sighs> One full fifth of fireball by myself. <laughs> Why do you sound now? like you're on the verge Why? of crying? <laughs> Are you okay? I don't want to get out. Oh. <laughs> Has Kunich paid you yet, bro? Bro, bro he was just uh, in a call with Doll. He yet? was in a call with Doll and Cab no. for two hours. He's just in his feels, bro. He's just in his feels. I was feels. in a call with Doll and Cab, bro. Do you know how fucking swelled my ball sack is right now, dude? It's, <laughs> it's insane, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking. It's not good, dude. It's not good, bro. Oh my god. Oh. How did the raids go? Did you get any any drops? Is that it was a good? Dude, we barely got KC, dude. We, oh. we got we got we got one KC at raid level one eighty. We got zero KC at any other raid level, dude. It was so. <laughs> Dude, we we were it was it was Zontan. I'm gonna send this footage to Hexo, and he's gonna ask me if I need therapy. Like that's <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. It was genuinely such good fucking content. Um, but no, we didn't we didn't get any purples. You know, thank you for asking. We didn't get any goddamn purples. Not a single one. It's okay. <laughs> You had female. Yeah. You had female interaction in that. We have not had that here, so it's good for you. Female, yeah, we had some female Talk interaction. To female, woo! It's good. No, I know. I know. Beggar I know. stated that he does not even know a female. Besides, I think maybe his mother or something. So yeah. that's pretty good. We're about to um, go to the Twitter thread if you want to join us. Yeah, hold on. What's uh? What did I miss? Did I miss anything good or like what's going this on? This pod you know, has been going? fire, bro. We've just been roasting chatters the whole time. It's been great and just idiots. <laughs> Dude, I <laughs> love roasting chatters. Yeah. I absolutely love roasting chatters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's been a good call. We had some technical difficulties. I DC'd for a little bit. Thank you guys yeah. for uh, everything's for good. Though, patience. Yeah. We learned about a Hamsey's puking and rally strategy. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, no, no, how many like, times no you puked? No hey, how many times you puked tonight? How many times have you puked? Because I know you said you didn't on stream, but how many times? Yes. What me? No, yeah. I genuinely have not puked at all. Oh, I'm not a puker. It's dude to make me puke takes a lot. I have puked. Maybe two or three times in my life from drinking. Very, very rarely do I puke. I know my limits. I'm very good at knowing my limits. <laughs> do, you, do you think you're going to be okay tonight? Do you think you're going to make it through the rest of this with us? I'll be okay tonight. You know, the funny thing is, I'm actually not even as drunk as I was on New Year's Eve when I drank three beatboxes. I drank a full... I drink a full fifth of fireball. Here's the thing. Well, here's I'm how long it take you to drink that fight. Did you space? You probably spaced a fireball out. That's probably. Oh yeah, why. it was. It was like five hours. When okay, I drank well, yeah, those three fine. beatboxes, it was within an hour. Yeah, I drank possible. three beatboxes, bro. No, they they kill you. They're I looked for dangerous. them. I can't find yeah. them in the stores. I'm gonna looked. tell you that Ignoble now said he has a girlfriend. He said he has a girlfriend. Yes. Now. Is exactly. it the girl that? Is it the girl that you were Snapchatting me with? Is that <laughs> oh, that girl? Oh yeah, yeah. What? Um, whoa, Can what's up? Whoa, the... sorry. Whoa, it, 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 it does not sound like that. I was not sending tasty right, pictures whoa, of like. Fucking cuck. What are you sending tasty? <laughs> like, hey, Max, you like this? <laughs> yeah, dude, I did like it. I did like it. He, was, he, might, he might try to play it off, but that's exactly what he was doing, bro. It really was. <laughs> whoa, all right. She cannot watch this podcast. But, <laughs> but no, I, I officially have a, a female in my life that i don't have to pay all the time so yeah I'm, I'm happy for you that's a good feeling man that's a good feeling yeah 
I like yeah. it. I went I went to dinner with my dad yesterday and he was like interrogating me about that. He's like, You have you have a girlfriend yet? And I'm like, No, not yet. Like I was I was going with that that girl, but she had a boyfriend and she's like, Oh geez, like, what's your dream girl? It's like, Dad, what the fuck are you talking about? It's my dream girl. He's like, What's your like give me your dream girl? And I was okay. like, uh, fucking tall, smarter than me, like fair skin, black hair. He's like, Yeah, yeah, don't get married yet. I was like, What? <laughs> what are you talking about? He's like, I got married when I was your age, way too fucking early. And I was like, what? <laughs> He's like, get married? Get married when you're like early 30s. Have kids when you're mid 30s. And I was like, okay, that. <laughs> okay. He wants you to Your live, dad bro. dropped the advice. No, no, no. He wants Dude, you to live life. He wants you to live I want life. You, yeah. I want you to know that like my dad is probably the coolest person that I've ever known in my entire life. Probably the coolest person. <laughs> There's genuinely out, there is not there is not a more handsome and richer guy that you've ever met in your entire life like this, <laughs> this dude has this dude has fucking everything and he's trying to like teach me what to do and i'm i'm taking notes like i want you to know <laughs> i am taking notes about what papa tasty is doing like he's got it put together dude <laughs> you know Damn, he's the idol. He no, I thought, he's, he, I thought he was gonna fucking you, like tell him, tell him to come to TwitchCon. Yeah, awesome. fuck it, bro. He, dude, he, if I told her to come to Vegas with us, he might. Like he genuinely <laughs> he might. He gives us an allowance, hopefully. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, dude, tasty. If, dude, if he sells a few companies, like he might come with and he might give us a, like a gambling oh, allowance. Like we can, we can make it work, bro. The Papa Tasty table, bro. No more do basketball games, Ignoble. You dude. When I when I turned twenty one and I went to Vegas with all my friends. Friends, my dad bought us a table at the Bellagio Hyde, like the Hyde Bellagio Club, I for so much. all for all of my friends. Like that's the kind of my dad is a ride or die. Like he would do that for me. He would a hundred percent do that for me. God we damn. can give it to do it again, bro. Shout out, good dad. <laughs> dude, yeah, shout out, good dad. He's I, I love my dad so much. He's the coolest person in the world, hundred percent. He's based. He's based. By the way, Mr. Beggar, are you gonna go to TwitchCon this year? Speaking of, um, where, 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 where's it at? Las Vegas. Vegas. October. Yeah, no. Probably, probably not. <laughs> I'm going to go to RuneFest if they ever do it, though. They're not doing it this year. They yeah. confirm no, no RuneFest this year. That's unfortunate. It is. Yeah. Next year, though, that's maybe. What, hopefully. That's what that, I've been wanting to go to one since they did uh, the last one, but. I was. Uh... I was gonna say though, tasty. That story about that girl who had the boyfriend. I don't think you've told that on here, or did you tell it on here? I don't think you have. Will no, you he did. I don't think I have. It's no, a good story. Have I? He yeah, did? yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear. Which okay, one? okay, okay. I might, I, I might have. Yeah, I think you told it on stream. I don't think you've told no, it. No, here again. The one fuck it, whatever. He about, no, he told about the girl, the other girl, not this one though. The not one the that we speculated girl. to have the girlfriend. Or they have the no, boyfriend. There's, there's TikTok no, girl, no, 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 no. and there's, no, and there's ballerina. This one did there's have a girlfriend. Girls. This oh. one did have a girlfriend. Yes, yeah, or boyfriend. One. Boyfriend. Okay. Yeah. Or boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. No, I'll, I'll tell the story. I'll tell the story. Um. So I went on a first hinge date with a girl. Probably this is probably about a month ago. Maybe maybe about a month ago. And um, I'm not gonna lie. Like I was I was feeling it. I was having a good month. I was like, I'm gonna take you to the nicest restaurant in town. I took her to a, a restaurant yeah. called Maple and Ash, yeah. which yo, is a yo. baller, a baller restaurant. Cosine, 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 cosine baller Arizona restaurant. Yeah. Dude, yeah. it's like a lot of the people in this call have been to Maple and Ash. It's an insane restaurant. Like it's it's an incredible restaurant. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna take this girl there. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flex on her. I'm gonna see what the vibe is. I'm gonna see how it goes. <laughs> and dude, the first we had a date, and it was a great date. As far as dates go, I mean, it was really, really solid. I've only had maybe one or two dates that I was that I connected with a girl more than I did with this girl. Like this was about as good as it gets, realistically. Right, and. uh it was, for reference, this is a $500 dinner. Like, I spent $500 on this dinner. This is, this is a big fucking dinner with this girl. And, oh, uh, is this when you got we the were, A5 Miyazaki? I got the... So, I was... I crowdfunded the night before the, the date. I was like, hey, guys, I'm going on a date. Any gifted sub at all I get tonight is going to go 
towards a bottle of wine for this girl. Because the last time I went to Maple and Ash, it was with T Papa. It was with Seth. I bought the table like a $400 bottle of wine, and it was incredible. Mm -hmm. It was an incredible it was very good. bottle mm -hmm. of wine. Incredible. And I was like, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to flex the fuck out on this girl, on everyone else's dime. I'm not going to pay for it myself. I'm going to let everyone <laughs> crowd fund me. <laughs> And so I did, and I got, I had a, a sick stream. I was like, a, it was like a hundred gifted subs. And I was like, okay, so this is a 250 bottle of wine, basically. And we get there, we have, you know, a great start. And then I'm like, we're looking at the cocktail menu. And she's like, well, actually, I don't drink. And I was like, <laughs> oh. She, here's the thing though. She did, she drinks occasionally, but she's not really a drinker. She goes on like year long bouts of abstinence. And so she wasn't drinking for the past few months. So I basically had like $300 where I didn't have to spend on, I was going to buy a bottle of wine, but she doesn't drink wine. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to buy a whole big ass, nice bottle of wine for myself. That's a waste of money. Yeah. Fair I don't like, I don't like drinking yeah. that much. So I got the A5 Wagyu for myself. Incredible. Delicious. What it's, it's so fucking good. It's insane. It's so fucking good. And we have, dude, we have a great date. Like, it was really a genuinely good date, right? And we didn't hook up at the end of the night. I was like, yeah, I don't know if this is too forward, but, like, if you want to come back to my house, like, you yeah, know, you're welcome to come back to my place. Here's the thing. She's 27. She lived with her parents. She was going to community college. She was kind of like aimless in what she wanted to do in her life. Whatever. It's fine. But she wanted to go back to her parents' house. So I was like, okay, totally fine. Like, that's, that's whatever. I had a great time. I'll see you next time I see you. And we were texting for like the next four, five, six days, whatever. Uh, pretty engaged in the texting. And I was like, let's, you know, let's have a second date. Come over to my place. We're going to make some cacio e pepe. Fantastic. Mm, yeah. Italian dish. She popping knows what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. It's a really good Italian dish. <laughs> we'll we'll watch some MILF Manor. We'll have a good time. It's oh, like the classic yeah. second date. The first date went well. So now I'm gonna invite you over to my house. We're gonna get a little bit more intimate. We're gonna get to know each other on a physical and a really personal level. Right? It's a classic second date. And so the days leading up to that date, we text and we text and we text, and like two days before, we we're supposed to meet up on I was like Monday. On Saturday, I send her a text at the end of the night. I was going to bed, just finished stream, whatever. I wake up on Sunday, no message, nothing. Usually she texts me in the morning because we have like opposite schedules. I didn't think about it. I was like, okay, whatever, she's, she's busy. Sunday night rolls around, no message, nothing. Sunday morning rolls around, no message, nothing. Sunday night, no message, nothing. Monday morning, no message. Oh, no. Nothing. And at this point, I'm like, this girl's ghosting me. It's done. It's over. I've cashed out of this. I'm totally not even, I'm not committed. Like, this is, it's fine to happen at this point. Like, she used me for a meal, whatever. It's fine. I, like, I knew the risk I signed up for. I'm taking the L. Totally fine. Whatever. Respectable, respectable. <laughs> We yeah no like you have to know when to take L's that's totally fine to. as a human being you have to know when to take L's yeah. and I you know I'm a I'm a proud individual but I'm not so proud I can't take an L I understand I understand how it works I've mm -hmm. ghosted many girls in my day it's caramel it's coming it's coming back around whatever we were supposed to hang out at like seven or eight that was the time that we had discussed nothing for the past forty eight hours and then. I went to the gym, totally cashed out at like three or four. He messages me. And she says, lol, been asleep all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Obviously. And don't you just hate Dude. women? Dude. Like on International Women's Day, can I just say You're not it? fucking sly. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're not fucking sly. <laughs> You think I'm a, a piece of shit? You think I'm a literal <laughs> retard? You think that's going to get passed on me? No, I, I get it. I would have preferred if you ghosted me. I really would have preferred if you ghosted me. And I, I read that message, 
and I'm like I said, I was cashed out a day before. I know what that means. I'm not an idiot. I was like, and I, I respond something like, "No worries, lol." Totally like, <laughs> like a like a non response. Okay, yeah. and she doesn't respond for the rest of the day. <gasps> Nothing. She responded on Sunday and then or Monday and then nothing. And then Tuesday rolls around. This is Valentine's Day. Tuesday mm. is Valentine's Day. Okay. Oh. And she already ghosted me once for the whole weekend. I was like, I'm going to respond for a little bit and then, you know, fucking whatever. She messaged me again after another 24 hours of ghosting me. Okay. Do you want to know what she said to me? Mm. She oh, said, please read that shit. No, she said, I deleted it. I do it a mess. I don't have the message right on my phone anymore. <laughs> I've deleted her. She said, LOL, OMG, all caps. This is all capital letters. I am so sorry. I've been in a coma all weekend. I've been sleeping so much. <laughs> do you think I am a developmentally delayed 14 year old? <laughs> What do you think you're trying to pull on me? What do you think you're trying to pull on me? You fucking witch? You minx? Do you think it's gonna work on me? How stupid do you think I am? How stupid do you think I am? I'm I'm just hearing this whole story and just in such regret that I did not get to watch Tasty's stream tonight. <laughs> Bro, dude, I hate to admit it. I've had it up the whole time and I've been watching and typing. It was too so, good. He was, he was watching and typing. He was watching and typing. Is this the girl that chat with everyone was just like, oh, you should call her? I had no idea the context. Is no, this no, the no. girl you're talking different girl, about? Different girl. That's, that's the last girl that I'm still not over. She was the girl that I was thinking of the whole time when I was in the relationship with the, the forward girl, the next girl. Um, oh my God. <laughs> we'll talk about her later. Um... <laughs> and so about, she hit, uh, you talking about the girl you took to the bar when I was there? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. That's 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 a different, girl. Forward, that's a different girl. Is that the forward girl? No, no, no. The girl that okay. you met was the girl that I was not interested in at all, but I still hit. It was understandable. Um <laughs> Anyway, well, like yeah, shout out. You know, <laughs> it was again like hit me with the oh, I was asleep. Suck that's my balls. Wild. Suck my fucking balls. It's and but I was I was already cashed out at this point, and I was just confused that she was still messaging me. That's I was weird. like, I'm not invested in this more anymore. Like, why are you still messaging me? And so uh, she she messaged me on Valentine's Day. I'm so sorry. I was I was sleeping so much this weekend. I was so tired. I worked so much. Happy Valentine's. It's like. 14 messages like splayed across <laughs> how was your valentine's day i hope you're doing so well i hope you're doing well and i'm confused i'm confused i don't know what women want at this point like i'm not like i'm i'm disconnected from her like why is she still why is she still trying how to do you engage only me? find schizo chicks <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you like you do not oh, you know. just go right to them. You're like, this chick's kind of schizo. I'm gonna hit her up. <laughs> I just there's something hey, about baby, him. At the end of the day, it's love on the spectrum. Oh, Dude, it gets my me. I am gosh. I am autistic and my lovers are autistic. Bro. Like, that's that's what's going love on. Bro. That's spectrum, what's going baby. on. So love okay. On the <laughs> that's the whole confusing like week, two weeks. The lead up before I really like I didn't know what was going on. I was so confused. I had never had anything like this. Like she was she was so engaged for two hours at a time and then two to four days where she was just like, like disengaged. And I, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I was me myself, I was like this I'm I've been over this for a couple of days, but I'm gonna be cordial. Like I'm gonna see what's going on. If she tries to set up a date with me, then like I'm going to be even more confused, but I want to see if she does it. So I, I, you know, I text her politely. I don't engage anything, but I respond to what she's saying. And she responds back so actively for the rest of the day, the rest of Valentine's Day. And I'm just, I'm confused. 
But the end of Valentine's Day, I send her like a, I just a response to one of her messages because she kept asking me questions that were warranting responses. So I kept responding. And then at the end of Valentine's Day, again, ghosted. That was Tuesday. All right. I wake up Wednesday morning, nothing. Wednesday afternoon, nothing. Wednesday evening, nothing. Wednesday at night. Okay, this is where it gets real. Sorry, so this All is right. the Wednesday after Tuesday, which is Valentine's Day. After yeah. Tuesday, which okay, is Valentine's Day. Okay, I just want to make Day. sure I'm tracking. Okay. Next day. Right. If you have someone in your contacts list, TikTok will recommend their profile to you if their profile is, you know, linked to their phone number, right? So I open up TikTok. I'm chatting shit, sending things to Ignoble, sending things to T Papa. And then in the sidebar, it's like, hey, you might like this profile. And it's the girl I've been talking to. It's the girl that I took on a date last week. The girl that ghosted me. Emma. Fuck you, Emma. <laughs> Is this the one with cancer? <laughs> Not the one with cancer. That one, first of all, that one never had cancer. <laughs> this is the difference. <laughs> 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 oh my god. This one, this one <laughs> bro, shots fired. Oh, dude, Jesus. dude, I click on her profile. It's like two in the morning. I'm in bed. I'm in my underwear. Like, I am vulnerable. The last TikTok that this girl uploaded, she has like five TikToks on her whole profile, like nothing. But the last one that she uploaded was on Monday, the day that we were supposed to meet up. Oh my God. The day that we had our date planned. Damn, Do you know what she's that tic TikTok? And Do you know what that TikTok was, Hamzy? Do you want to know what she uploaded on TikTok? The day, Don't tell me. The, the hour that we were supposed to meet up. <laughs> It Don't was, tell me. It was her and another guy in, oh, her, um, in, in her bed, cuddling, mm. playing Nintendo DS. Oh, no! <laughs> and you want to know, you want to know the best, the best part about this is that when you click on someone's TikTok profile, it alerts them that you have viewed their profile so she saw that i watched that tiktok of her and the random man in bed on the day that we were supposed to go out and she has not texted me since i want to die listening to that yeah no dude you want to die don't you <laughs> you you want to die. You have dude, legitimately I, the worst fucking luck of anyone I've ever met. I do. I do. And I'm trying, T Papa, I'm trying so hard to not let this affect me. Oh, like, bro. I'm trying not to watch Andrew. I'm trying so hard to not watch Andrew Tate videos. I'm trying not to watch Jordan Peterson videos on. This is the dichotomy of man and woman. This is the difference in our relationship. I am trying so hard. And every single day, it gets harder. Oh, Come on, every man. Every single day. Dude, I, he's, out here, doing, he's I out here doing e-girl raids on International Women's Day. I was doing e-girl raids on International Women's Day, bro. True. And I was so close he's trying. to being sexist. Listen, don't worry. You, good thing you have us, because if you do find a woman oh. who clearly is playing you, we'll let you know. Okay, I got no, you. And that's, that's a beautiful thing. Like the the girl before this, the girl that I actually liked, I wasn't really like super, you know, into the girl that I took to the super expensive dinner. The girl before that I took out with us several times and was like super obsessed with everyone. In, everyone that I talked to was like, this girl sucks. Ricky was like, this girl sucks. Like Mel was like, this girl's not behaving well. And I was like, no, 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 you don't, <laughs> you, don't you don't get it. You don't get it. You don't get it. Like, I know this girl better than you, dude. Turns out she I was didn't. so exotic, you know? though, Tasty. I get it. Like, I understand. <laughs> oh, dude. God. What I, the fuck is that? Like, no, no. I get it, bro. Like, he knows exactly what I mean, exotic. bro. He knows what I mean, dude. He, tasty no, no, go no, he I have, goes for the I outliers. Such. <laughs> I have such a specific like mental type. fucking outliers, bro. Just bro. because you're a white woman is exotic. Bro, right? <laughs> it wasn't Asian. 
She was white. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not ignoble. <laughs> I'm not ignoble. I'm not ignoble. I have only. I've had sex with one Asian girl in my life. The dude, the last girl that Tip Up was talking about, Fucking dude. Like, negative plus minus. I have a very, very specific type. And she was that to a fucking T. Like he knows, he knows what's up. You know, he knows what's up. I got you. It was, yeah. <laughs> I know what you yeah, like. Was... I know what you what, like. What do I like? What do I like? You like taller, skinnier women with dark hair. He likes outliers yeah. on the Asian spectrum. <laughs> No, that, I'm, does, I'm not. Does, no, no, no. Like Asian women too. I, He's got a thing for Asian women for sure. I'm not. I don't, I don't, I don't, on the I don't Asian think I spectrum. have a thing for Asian women. I would actually argue against that. I've never dated yeah. an Asian woman. I've mm. never. I've had sex with fair one fair. Asian girl my whole life. You okay? Okay. You want the girl to be white, but like you want people when they look at her to like, is she Asian? You know, like a. Mm, no, like, no, no, <laughs> Like, what is that even talking about? <laughs> what does that even mean, bro? <laughs> like, no, no, no. Oh, know what you want. I, dude, here's the thing. I, Keep Up has no fucking clue what I want. Sorry. I thought he did. Bro, he I, no I, I picture you wanting like a raven haired kind of woman. Someone who's just like you know, mysterious, you go, but you know. know? Raven haired, she's got pale, her, she's mysterious. She's got her shit together. She's not going to be super codependent. She's going to let you do your thing. She's, you know, she's going to, you know, I, I know what you want, dude. I, you, oh you, want, you want a little mommy and you little, little yeah, mommy action. Mommy, for sure. Mommy. Well, mommy action in your Look, life. Yeah. No, here's the thing. I would, I would love a mommy. I have not found one. I have not found the last girl was the opposite of a mommy. She, she, she needed so much I'll care you, and she, attention. I'll tell you right now, bro. You're not gonna was, find mommy on Hinge. You're not gonna find mommy on Hinge. No, I know. If she was mommy, she would I know. not be on Hinge. She would no, not. No, you're bro, right. I've been you're saying right. this, you and guys. I know you, need, that. you need to download totally Mutual. Right. It's Mormon Tinder. Just, I'm not down. Just downloading one. No, 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 but I'm can, not shut up. convert them to your no. ways, bro. No, they're what easy. I mean, they're you? not easy. Sorry, that's rude. Um, Logan, they're, uh, so cool. <laughs> bro, I accidentally got too fucked up, too. This is not going good. Dude, I'm so dude, drunk. Oh, my God. Insane. This is on him, bro. Uh, Tasty just came in here. Dude, I don't know. No, I need to hear about Mutual, bro. Dude, Tasty came in here. I need to Sell me on Mutual right now. Dude, I don't know. Give me one reason to download Mutual. Tasty came in here and I wanted to match energy and I took two shots and I just ripped the Puffco. So I don't know what the fuck's going on, bro. Dude, I killed a whole <laughs> bottle of Fireball. I hate myself right now. Mutual, so, bro, bro, you bro. You have no idea how ready I oh, am man. to talk about the girl that broke my heart. <laughs> oh, man. Honestly, I fuck it. I'm so, I am so ready for this right now, dude. Beggar, no idea, fuck your dude. podcast. This is Tasty Therapy yeah. Session. <laughs> <laughs> Let it all out, Pasty. Let it all out, man. Oh, dude, I had dinner. Dude, I had dinner with my dad yesterday, and oh he knows like a little bit about the ballerina that broke my heart, bro. And he was like, "Whatever, whatever happened to her?" And I was like, "Well, ah, she, she moved to New York. Like, I'm not, you know, it's it's not a thing anymore." And he's like, "Well, you're," he's like, "You're going to New York in a week." Like hit her up, and I was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know about that. Like, I don't know. He's like, well, "You should talk to her," and I'm like. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh nah dude it'll happen in due time my friend uh, it'll happen in due time <laughs> yeah I did just... if you want to get like a real deep real therapy I don't even know if I like that girl that much I think she represented something greater in my mind it was I think it was beyond her I think she represented something that I deeply desire and I have no clue what it is and I'm trying to figure it out and I don't know I have no clue. You say you're projecting your deepest desires on her and she wasn't really that? I think I am. Like, when we would hang out the second time, uh, like, our little second run through, so there were points where I'd be like, I don't know if I really like this girl. So, like, she's not really, she's not really what I expected. But in my mind, I'd be like, no, she's like, she's what I want. She's what I want. But in Dude, reality, it'd be like, I don't. I don't know. You know what it is, man? It's it's your brain playing tricks on you. So you I don't you're not is. actually into Bro. her. It's your brain I, I making you it. think you that know, you're into the I idea know. of her. I know Dude. you're so right, but I just don't huh? pass Bro, that idea. If that that girl it. took you back, you would be with her for two days and then be like Ooh, maybe I wasn't. Bro, no, I'm kind of glad that I, Zoe's not here. I don't no. know what she'd say to Tasty right now. <laughs> she would fuck me up. She would fuck she would me fuck up. You up and me. I would deserve it. And I would deserve it. And I know. 
I I know that everything everybody says about this girl is right, but I can't stop. Like in my mind, I'm like, if she took me back, no, we had a no, night dude, together. Dude, I think that's oh. that's what I want most in the entire world. And it, it would be the best <laughs> no. thing in the entire world to me. Listen, bro, Low key, like, and I, know I, I would bad. root for it. Like, I, would, so I would root for okay. it. It'd be cool. I need a Michelin star. I need <laughs> a Michelin star <laughs> so bad, dude. Oh, dude. So, so fucking bad. bad. I need a Michelin okay. star. We're going to be okay. We'll get, we'll so get you to a Michelin star. We'll get you to a Michelin star. We'll God. take care of it. <laughs> God damn, dude. She's the, the worst part about it is like the more uh, you think about her, you're probably like, oh, she's perfect in all these ways. And you just keep thinking about that, even though she's probably not. She's probably fucking awful. But she's in your not. mind, you're just like. But I think she is, and I was know she she's just, not. But was I still she think just she incredible is. at sex or something? I mean, not even. Okay. Not even. <laughs> <laughs> she broke me, dude. I don't get it. I feel I so bad. I, don't get it. I feel. Like, I wish I knew. I wish I could I, put it. Dude, I hate her honestly. Fuck her, bro. I'm, I'm mad for you. We're, we're, Good. We're, Thank right, you. But what if Thank she goes? You, what if know. she goes on an arc and she completely changes, like, and she hits you up? Would you? No, would you go for a part happen, three bro. in a year? No, we can't. I'm not. We're not letting this happen, bro. She has too much. I will wrong kill you in her. Las Vegas if you get. I think you should do it. I will find a way to kill you. I think. I no, think. Okay, I think if you, gave her, if you gave her like eighteen to sixteen months and she hits you up, I'd be like, "Hey, yo, pot one date, you know?" No, do no. not. No, Max. Would, we know Max would say him, yes, bro. but like, no, T Papa. He would say yes if it was tomorrow, bro. If she said, "Let's go tomorrow," she, she is a fucking devious. Little I know, but worm. I think I think I think and you I you, you get the yes upper hand, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm I saying, say bro. Yes immediately, this, this is not good, bro. You can't. If say she yes. texted me, I would, I would, Dude. I would immediately respond. You know the you know happen. the story you told where you did the uh, the story you told where you like you hit up that one chick on Tinder in Arizona and then you just like nutted and pretended to fall asleep. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. Dude, yeah, the you, girl should, who you, you, me. you should you should hit up that chick and then nut and pretend to fall asleep, dude, and then and then walk out and like you're That's up on top, help. bro. That's gonna make it worse. <laughs> That's gonna make it worse, dude. The one thing I don't want to do is I just like, want Tasty to win with a girl that I don't care about and think about the other girl the whole time. That sounds like the worst time. No, of my I want life. you to go hook up with her and then deny her like nut and then just go to bed and not <laughs> talk to her again. Like you got to end up on top. Oh, yeah. Honestly, you need, you need something to reset. Like, you can you gotta, still you pull out the dub. Reset, yeah. Like the dub is still I there. I need to reset me. You need to reset. Maybe we can get um, or something. No, no, it's, it's sad. It's been, it's been almost three years and I don't think there's been a night where I just haven't thought about this girl. I don't think it's a single dude. fucking night. Bro, this is worse than I thought. Do you want, you want my honest I don't know. It's bad. I don't, dude, I well, don't okay. think it's going to go away until you Beggar. find a new one. Beggar, let me tell you about this girl. We had a fling like two and a half years ago, three years ago. That's when it started. And then we had no contact for about a year and a half. And then I contacted her again. And we had about three, four, five months where we had another Ugh. fling. And that was Got probably it. three, four months ago. It was right okay. around TwitchCon. It was right around TwitchCon. So about Did you six ever tell her ago. that you loved her? No. God, no. Okay. <laughs> That'd be well, good. Absolutely Look, all, not. all I'm going to say is, Max, clear your schedule for some time in May. Um, let's book some flights to Thailand and forget about all this. Dude, yeah. I'm going to fuck a ladyboy. I'm going to fuck a ladyboy in Thailand and we're going to... I mean, we are, are going to bring QD. I'd we'll Thailand fine, over Paris. Paris. <laughs> Maybe that'll reset you. Maybe that'll reset you. Maybe that's what you need, bro. It might reset me, bro. That's, that's what I need. I... I, I think I'm gonna do a subathon in May. I'm gonna do a subathon. Dude, do you, honestly, what you need is you need that you need a girl to come along. And, like you need the you need. It's gonna be a special woman, but she's gonna reset you. You need, but it, it'll happen hopefully. No, nah, that will happen. I I, I like. I, I hope even, it doesn't, dude. I like unhinged, tasty. Dude, what yeah. the fuck? <laughs> bro? No, I don't. I don't like this because dude, what the hell is because no, 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 it's not that I don't. That's the guy that's gonna fuck dude, your next girlfriend that you get. It's, it's yeah. necessary. It's necessary. Yeah. Trust me, dude. No, it, it's painful at girl, first, dude. but but Please once you get to the girl. end product. I need you to ruin my goddamn life. Like I need, <laughs> I, I, dude, I need this, bro. Like, that's you a gotta, good vlog, honestly. Hamzy you gotta be a good ex lover. <laughs> oh, GoPro. Yeah, I'll strap a GoPro on top of him. I'll have the camera the wide shot. It'll be good, bro. Uh, bro honestly, to just go out with Hamzy for a weekend. He will find you a bunch of very taken women, and you guys can have like a great, great weekend. No, yeah, bro. Uh, Easy. Dude, I've, I've I don't had want sex this... with like. A half a dozen women since then. Uh, it's just, you know. 
I don't want this story to end here though. Like I need a part three of this saga. Like all good sagas dude, have three stop parts. Stop being selfish. He's already the, God, the horrific part. <laughs> but dude, he can is still like... win, bro. Like no, I'm he can't. no, no, I can't. No, bro, it's over, I can't bro. win. Over, bro. That's, I can't win, sell, bro. dude. Part three so, should be continued. Gandalf and took off, this... bro. She ain't coming back. This girl, this girl, this girl <laughs> essentially ghosted me, right? She essentially ghosted me yeah, because she was what like, you don't want to hear, bro. Some, some, some guy who is, is fucking her better than you did and is taking care of her better than you did. Right I, now. here's that's, the no, thing. That's not true. You don't listen to him, bro. Up part. Yeah, you that's not true. Fucked up part <laughs> for the past three years that I've known her. Like I have fucking, <laughs> I followed her on social media. I've watched every goddamn story she oh posted. Oh my god! She, what the dude, fuck? She has not. She doesn't talk to men. I think she fucking hates men. She's one of the people that absolutely. What if she's on a revenge tour and she's trying to fuck up as many men's lives as possible? I hope and so. You're one of them. That would make it easier for me. That would make it way easier for me, bro. bro this is, she moved, I like, can't dude, believe this girl has this grasp on Tasty. I'm like, I'm like mind boggled right now. No, no, she has an absolute grasp on me. It's, <laughs> it's horrific. Um, she moved to New York, which is the main reason we stopped talking. Do you, do you want to know where I'm going in 10 days? Seven days? No. New York. Dude, don't tell me. New York. I'm going to see her. I'm going to New York City. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, bro. Wait, when you're is there a week to actually when, see her? No, no, no. It's to visit my brother, my family. When you are Tasty. in New York, Tasty. stay away from Fireball. <laughs> Tasty, <laughs> Tasty. You're, you're, you're so right. You're so stay away I'm, from with, Fireball. I'm with Papa Tasty, bro. I say hit her up. No, I'm not going to hit her up. That's she wouldn't respond. Me, I was it. trying to bait subs. I said mm. if someone gifted 100, I would call her. I don't think she would have answered. Um, Dude, no, but if she a. did, dude, bro. if she if I called her and she answered, I would have hung up. Bro, like, be I think, outright. I think be we outright. should drink a fifth of Fireball and see what happens. Yeah, I really I do. did. And I this is this is what we're doing. You this should, is what happens. You should load up the text. I hey, I'm in New York. Want to fuck? Drink a fifth of Fireball and then see what happens. I think you, you should load up the text, pussy. bro. I think you should I, load dude, up the I, text. I came inside her so much. It was fucking insane. <laughs> I've never. I've, there's no other woman on this planet that I have fucking busted inside so many times. It's like, I think that's why we have such an emotional connection. <laughs> that's the only Bro, reason. Bro, listen, T Papa only wants you to do that because he wants more content from this. That's his brain. <laughs> Beggar, I'm so out. sorry. He's fucked up. Look at his Dude, I forgot Beggar was in here, bro. I'm so sorry, sorry man. It's Beggar, I'm so sorry. Look at his I'm here for the ride. Smile. He just I'm wants so more sorry. content, bro. A couple shots of Ciroc and he's literally, you're paralysis demon that's the guy that's gonna fuck you up even further bro don't listen to him okay to be fair i am way too many ciroc's deep right now so <laughs> oh, god i can't believe i drink a whole fifth of fireball tonight i should i feel like i should be drunker but i'm i'm actually semi coherent yeah, you right seem now. pretty sober you seem pretty good who would have thought oh my would god be, who would have thought yeah. beggar's cast would have been the most unhinged we've bro. had I don't bro. Know. <laughs> I wasn't. I was not planning on joining this cast, but then everyone was like, "Hey, Joel, I'm like, oh god, dude, man. you know, you know what's funny? You know what's funny is that Beggar's audience is actually like pretty. You know, they, they're pretty tame, honestly. You know, they they're, they're yeah. pretty like together. And who's gonna be like, yo, watch this podcast? I'm here, Tasty. I came inside of her. Like, well, no, it's gonna be like, it's good. They're gonna, they're gonna love it's, it. It's gonna be a nice oh. love, and then Tasty, like, you get Tasty out, and the roller coaster drops. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Going, bro. like a fucking drop. Bro. Bro, dude, eventually, they're like a fucking atomic bomb, dude. <laughs> there are only there are only two girls in Tasty history that I have come inside multiple times, and I Jesus Christ, and man. I feel way too strongly towards, and she is the most recent one. The other one is like history. I like her. We still talk sometimes, but it's you know it's history. Is she up? Yeah. <laughs> I just hope, not, hopefully this has been good for you. Hopefully this let has me, been good for you. Ask. No, it has. I, I did. I had to get this out you, at some you point. Get, you this need is, to get it out, so that's good. Yeah. Well, like oh I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be super real. When we're in Tennessee, bro, I'm gonna be outside sitting on the swings, and whoever sits next to me, 
in the middle of the night when I'm fucked up on cocaine. I hope it's not Adam. <laughs> it's, no, no, no. It's, gonna be, it's gonna be either Adam or it's gonna be Solo. It's gonna be one of the two British I people. Solo, bro. I hope it's Solo. And I'm gonna sit next to him and I'm gonna spill my heart out. And that's that's what's gonna happen. Uh, He's gonna, gonna be, be like, holy here. fuck, I don't wanna hang out with any of these yeah. people. He's gonna be like, I'm bro. never coming back to a base party. God, I'm so life. excited for that. I'm never coming to fucking America again, bro. <laughs> 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 Yeah, uh, we should yeah, all have good. to be mic'd up all weekend or the whole time. Oh, Jesus! Oh, jeez! Yeah, <laughs> I don't so know about that, Chief. Oh, yeah, that's pretty dangerous, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'd be saying some. Why? Shit. What were you guys gonna do? You see me play Warzone. You know what happened? Oh like, God! <laughs> <laughs> you just fat shames people. Nothing else. Oh, my God. Moving no, on, though. I'm glad we got that out. Can we? Uh, can we take a peek at the Twitter thread now, please? <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, 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 let's do that, let's do that. This is, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm proud, when, when someone swings thing. by the stream and they're like, oh, yeah. check out the pod, I'm referring them to this episode now. Like, this is, <laughs> this is the one I send them to. I'm like. I will say, I will say, Beggar, this is one of the greatest podcasts yeah. of all time. Congratulations, yeah. Beggar, yeah. you're getting yeah. referred. <laughs> Thank you for being here. I had a fucking wild it. stream, bro. Oh, oh my it was God. You're doing it. You, you're doing an awesome job, Beggar. <laughs> I'm, awesome, I'm, I'm sorry, but he, yeah, he clearly needed to get that out. He needed to get it Beggar out. Beggar makes us feel the most comfortable. Honestly, I was really worried. I'm like, oh man, I can't talk for three hours. So I'm glad. I'm glad Tasty came ah, out. I got you. I, got you. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I just came <laughs> off a fucking unhinged stream. I posted my stat, like the stream stats in eleven. Like, look what the fuck happened on that stream, dude. I was going wild. I needed this, bro. This was insane. Holy. Yeah, Dude, plus 111 yeah, followers. Holy crap! <laughs> w man's does the W stream, does the W stream. Good shit. <sighs> a nice bottle of wine coming. God, sheesh. That's a nice bottle of wine coming. Yeah, man. yeah, I'm, 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 yeah. Next time I come there, we're going to Maple and Ash. We're not going to fucking. Oh, dude, we're not going to Elements or whatever the fuck that was. Restaurant dude. in progress. Restaurant in progress. <laughs> That's what it was, dude. I'm so. I'm genuinely still upset that we went there, dude. I like that. It's yeah. Uh, T Pop, you know how we love Michelin stars and fine dining experiences. Oh yeah. Imagine going to something that you thought would be like that, and then instead of being served an incredible tasting menu, they sit you down and they cut your balls off. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Yeah. I, Isn't that it's, insane? Uh, that's, that's, that's what we went yeah. through, yeah. That's what we that's literally went That's actually like nightmare fuel, because all I look forward to is fine dining experiences, and if I were to walk in and have my nuts chopped off instead of giving yeah. nice food, I would... It, instead of a tasting menu, uh, they literally castrate you. I like, that's, that, that's what uh, that was. Not like ideal. The last four years, that is the worst meal I've had. That is I the worst I, meal I, I I've ever had in my life for the price. <laughs> okay, that's, yeah, that's my, fair. For the price. For the price, that's fair. That is fair, yeah. Yeah, it was insane. Anyway, um, they might have one they want to pull. Beggar, are you? No, I can't even read. You said you're a huge food guy. Before we jump into that, I want to. You said you enjoy food a lot. Do you have any specific dish or any restaurant that you love? Oh man, you know I'm a big fan of the Olive Garden. (laughs) That's it. All right, the, kick some, somebody get him off the cast right now, bro. It's over, bro. Thanks for being here. It's a breadstick slap. Fuck you, bro. Yeah, dude. I'm with Thank you. you. No, I've never been off guard in my life. Bro. <laughs> Ever? Really? Damn. He did go to Applebee's for the first time with me when I was there last, so that's, uh, bro, I believe it. So. Look at look, Applebee's. I, Applebee's. I'm actually allergic. Because after 9 p.m., they have half price apps, right? That shit goes hard. That's fair. It's, it, it, you get what you it, It's a bang for the buck there, you know? It's not bad. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I'll you know pull, what, I'll pull a I, question. You right, know what sorry, I man. love is Texas Roadhouse. Oh Dude, my Texas god, Texas Roadhouse goes hard. It's that's like that's Texas like my Roadhouse dirty little either. secret. It's, it's a, like oh, I go oh it's, fucking it's a, a Texas solid Roadhouse steak for a good price. And the rolls are fantastic. Dude, dude me, the is that the one with the peanuts? No, no, that's Logan's. That's Logan's. Bro, I eat oh, there. Okay. We, me and Annie eat there cheaper than when we go to Five Guys, and it's Texas motherfucking Roadhouse, dude. I'm getting a steak. It's so nice. It's good. Like, it's not bad at all. Oh, uh, man. I know um, this, uh, a random story just popped into my head. I know, uh, I don't know. I know he's super into coffee, this guy, okay? I don't know about oh. what kind of cuisine, but I know Beggar's very in, into his coffee. He's always well, he drinking coffee. He was talking shit earlier about espresso. And it, oh, it yeah. reminded me of a story that Beggar, I don't know if I told you this actually. Um, it's from TwitchCon. 
uh, from this last year, uh, doing a lot during TwitchCon when we were just like hanging out at our Airbnb is TV. We would just play random streams. You know, whoever was live, we would just throw their stream up. And uh, there were some times where we were doing multi-stream, where we would show two streams uh, on at the same time. And we had your stream up uh, for a good bit. And side by side with you, multi-stream was Amaranth. Right. So we have Let's Beggar. It's <laughs> a good combo. We have Beggar and Amaranth. So Beggar's finishing up a Slayer task. He gets his next Slayer task. And then he goes to the bank. And at this moment... Amaranth is getting off stream. She's like, hey, I'm going to change into another outfit. So she fucks off the camera. Beggar goes to the bank. And this dude is just standing there at the bank. This, this also got brought up because I saw one of the questions from the Twitter thread. Is that who is, is there a better bank stander than you? Oh. So Beggar's standing at the bank forever. And Amaranth is also off the screen. She's been off the screen for like five minutes. She's changing into a new outfit. They're like, is she coming back? Where is she? Beggar's also this whole time at the bank. Uh, so we start <laughs> thinking, what's going to happen? What's going to happen first? Is Amaranth going to come back on camera? Or is Beggar going to pull one single item out of the bank? I remember this <laughs> night. She's off the bank, interface open. So me and Whale put a bet. Live action bet, $5. What's going to happen first? And I said, I know Beggar's a big bank stander man, but he's surely going to pull at least one item out of the bank before Amaranth gets back. And she's gone. She's gone. There's nothing on the camera. And, and, and Beggar's over there. You know, he keeps hovering over around his... You can see his mouse cursor, like, going over. What is he going to pull out? And... He just keeps getting distracted by conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, this is the story and going off on a tangent. And then he goes over to pull out one item. And I, I swear, dude, he's got it right click. Like it's like it's about to come out. And then I see comment in the chat and it's Whale going, what kind of coffee are we drinking? And I look over at Whale on the other side of the living room and he's got his fucking phone in his hand. And then Beggar just, just moves back. Oh, you know, we got this thing and then this. And he goes off on a whole, like, 10-minute oh. tangent That's about so what he, so kind of coffee he's drinking. And then he goes back, and <sighs> right then, Amaranth comes back on the screen. And then I pulled $5 out of my pocket, and I gave it to Will. <laughs> That's good. That's an incredible yeah. story. Yeah, no, I, you know, I learned a trick, actually. You see... You know, you guys are all good at the game. I'm not good at the game, so people don't really want to watch me play. So if I stand at the <laughs> bank, they're like, what's he doing next? That's you know, and they, and they stick around. They're like, is he going <laughs> Is he going to top? Is he going to TOA? And I just, the longer I'm there, the higher the view count goes. It's, it's really something. That's actually so, insane. No joke, though, actually. So I said earlier in the pod that I used to watch uh, Raj Patel or whatever. He would do entire streams where he would be at the duel arena and he'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to stake somebody because back back then there was a rule on Twitch. There was no IRL category or anything. So you had to be playing a video game. You, there was no oh. just chatting. Oh, or that's kind of meta. I wish it was like that. So, that's crazy. So, that, that would that would help out the RuneScape rule. category so much, Loki. Oh, for yeah, sure. Yeah, but they were they were like super strict on it. So like he had to pretend to be playing the game to do his like chatting show or whatever. So he would be in the duel arena, like whip staking and there would just be so many people sending requests and he would like never accept any of them, but everyone would think he was going to stake. And so he would do that. And then he'd do this thing where he'd walk along like the wilderness, the, the edge of the wilderness and stuff. And so I, I, I've taken inspiration from that. I miss that's, the that's, arena. Me that's, the, that's a good. That's me in the sure. bank. I go in the bank and and the view count goes up. But no, <laughs> I, I I just get distracted easy, honestly. And um, yeah, I chat. I'm getting better. I've been doing I've been doing Hydra a lot. Uh, and uh, okay. on the way, Dragon Hunter Lance coming in. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but no, I'm still. <laughs> It depends on the day too, like feel, Friday and Saturday. Like, uh, I think a few of us have exercised that meditating stand. T Papa exercises that a lot. He will stand at the bank in gear forever and talk for probably you know a good 10, 20 minutes. I do. I've to done be it fair, like I have depart. never done that tactically. Okay, I'm just retarded. <laughs> Dude, I literally. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
True. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was just chatting for like 40 minutes today. It was honestly just chatting is the most fun I'll ever it have. Is. Yeah, no, it, it is. It is always the best. It's the most fun you'll ever have. Really when you have a good so chat good. to like do with, it's a good time. But like if, if you're if you're more like if it's more like a gaming type of stream, then it's OK. But like if you have like a good active chat and you're like just fucking around, it's a really good time. I think yeah, my I best know, yeah. dream that I ever did was a bank cleaning stream. That sounds I, legit. I heard yeah. about yeah. this. I think I rated yeah. you or something. You were telling me about it. Because I'm oh, sure people just loved it. They're like, why do you have that fucking 25 trowel? They were just fucking yeah. me for everything. Honestly, it was kind of good because you know what? You get kind of like, uh, I guess, like desensitized to what's in your bank. You know, after you look at it so much, you know, you forget. Yeah, true. So when true. you're scrolling with all these people looking, and I don't know why people were super, super into it, dude. Like, I didn't have this many backseaters when I was learning Inferno. Like, people wanted to tell me where to put my items and how I should have them organized. Like, everyone had something to say about it, dude. I had so many people sending me screenshots of what their banks look like and how they think I should organize my bank. And it was, like, probably the most chat interaction I've ever had on a stream. Damn. I think it's the mystery, too. Like, they're like, what's he doing next? Yeah. I had this uh, viewer come in one night. I'm going to post this in the, uh, in the general here. He came in. I had like a hype train going. It was like over level five. And he comments and he's like, I don't I don't get it. Is it just bank standing? And I was like, yep. And he's like, Jesus Christ. And he left. <laughs> I wish I recognized him. God damn it. Um, that's that's I gross. Promise. There that's there was cool. I usually start my streams off with like you know like hey you know face cam for like two minutes and then dive into like a farm run you know the stupid Iron Man shit, and one of these times I forgot to change from face cam to farm run so I was doing a farm run but I was in face cam the entire time just talking it was the most interaction I've had I'm just like damn people are just chatting and talking I just went off on a spiel the farm run lasts like 45 minutes and by the time I go back to my OBS I'm like holy fuck nobody's told me the entire time that I've been in just chatting mode the entire time and people are just like as soon as i turn it back they're like dude put the fucking game away we don't want to see this shit like just... how many of you know have obs in I'm your gonna peripherals start, i'm gonna start milking that as long as i possibly can i'm just gonna go to just chatting mode and wait until someone says anything because that's like 30 minutes free screen time just absolutely <laughs> free you can do whatever the fuck you want that's yeah i'll try that too i, I did the idea. same shit man recently i i've been starting my stream with corp where like i'll be full face cam talking to everyone while i'm specking corp down and then once i'm done specking uh then i'll switch to show the game and i'll be like what's the you know like let's go like we're getting a drop like what's it gonna be you never know and i'm over here milking it like let's go guys we're gonna get something and i'm just over here full screen you know my that's face that's that's kills completely Lucky over. genius 100 uh, percent. oh man but yeah, uh, that was a good question from the from the Twitter thread. Uh, that came from Rune Master Fro, by the way, who I did see in your chat. Uh, Love him. Uh, the other day, he was talking about how he was super excited for this podcast. So shout out to him. He's got a lot of yeah, questions yeah. in here. Shout out Rune Master. Yeah, he's a good guy. Think, um, uh, he's got a bunch of questions. Yeah, I got I got one. How often do you wash the? Uh, it's from Chi Uppies. How often does the panda hat get washed? Um, That's a good question. That's a good one. Every Sunday. It gets washed. This is like, uh, Ain't this no is way. like the, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like the, I've had a lot of these hats. When I first started washing them though, the, the, they have like Paul things and they would rip off and the hat would fall apart. So one of my viewers was like, Hey, get one of these bra bags here. And this is where we put the hats and, uh, keeps them nice and safe. The paws don't fly off. Hey, oh, what the yeah. fuck? Hamzy's got one too. Oh, oh goddamn! <laughs> That's your son's, bro. Hamzy, a bigger oh, dick rider. Holy shit! Yeah, holy shit! I am, dude. I am. <laughs> yeah, he did a whole. He did like a whole. It, what was it? Your anniversary was some kind of special event. He did like a it whole was Halloween. Stream, like, bro, he did a Halloween stream. He dressed Halloween. up as me, and. I didn't realize how much this dude watched my stream until I saw this stream. This dude like had all my mannerisms down. He had like the way I, everything I say, like I, he said things I didn't even know I say. He like starts, he's like, ladies and gentlemen, I just went to Taco Bell. And I'm like, 
<laughs> you want to know what's so funny, dude? Is that that stream still remains as my highest hype train I've ever gotten. <laughs> because Beggar does this thing where, and when he gets a hype uh, hype train, he has this whistle that, and I even bought the whistle. I don't even know where it is, but he has this whistle that he blows, and he has certain music that he plays. And I was doing the whole thing. It was Halloween. That's what it was. It was for Halloween. I was I was Beggar, and I did a whole. Uh, dude, I fucking downloaded marbles and we were giving shit Ain't away. no way, bro. I was doing barrels on the Iron Man because at the time, that's all he was doing. <laughs> bro, I thought T-Pop and Dick Riders were bad, but holy, holy fuck, man. Holy shit, Beggar dude. Dick Riders, man. <laughs> My boys need to step yeah. it up. And they even be coming after me, man. <laughs> that's fucked. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, sun Sunday's wash day though. Yeah, it goes a whole week. I mean, I just sit in here, so it's not like it's it's that dirty. But I mean, doesn't you're wearing it under your headphones? Doesn't it get like hot and like your ears are covered? Um, you know, like thing <gasps> is, huh? oh, I, th I thought we were gonna see. Bad. Like it's a pretty. Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm no way too high. Weird. I don't know what just like, happened. I... They're caught. Like, I'm about really to end the stream. <laughs> what? Wait, just what happened? happened? <laughs> Did you just tell? Happen? Yeah, no, they're <laughs> this some bullshit, they're bro. Mad. I don't, I don't know what just happened. He's a, is mean... he like one of those fucking never nudes who just like always has a hat on underneath? If you're house? if you're just listening, beggar just like took off a beanie and then right under it was the same exact perfect beanie. <laughs> <laughs> Like it looked like a like a perfectly executed like Las Vegas, Vegas strip that magic <laughs> trick. <laughs> that was, yeah, he doesn't even know what he just saw. I, I'm like I I like I want to end the recording because it's some bullshit and there's no way I'm awake right now. Like that's yeah. that's not real. Yeah, I'm uh, here's the thing. I'm so <laughs> I'm so drunk. You guys want to know what, dude? <laughs> All right, hit us. <laughs> hit us with it, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's okay. It. He's out. He's like, that's enough. He he left the He's... call. By the way, <laughs> that's okay. I think we had our. Uh, we, we, we he needed that, you know. He, Holy! Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for the for, hour of tasty you for, therapy. Uh, thank you for the therapy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. Sure absolutely. Therapy. You did say you were okay with him coming on when we were so you. I don't even that. understand. Oh, yeah. I still don't know what just happened. Can you, I? I need yeah. an explanation. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Disconnect. You're recording. Don't disconnect. I, that's gonna be the. That's Seth, gonna be the Twitter clip right shit? there. I'm just. I'm so I, I confused. Did. It's you know he's um. He's I. I think he's got another one underneath there, honestly. I probably sleeps with that on. Is there, I, I don't know that? Is there really? There has to have been. That was... <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Chief Pop is so fucked up right now. Chief Pop is just trying to process the entire thing. Right? I, don't I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, and I just watched a magic trick, and that was the most incredible thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm That's thinking hilarious. about these last three hours. That you've just had, you were just waiting. Was there like a specific time that you knew that that was, or like, like there's what? no other option that he didn't, he didn't have two hats magician. on. He's not going to reveal, he's not going to reveal his secrets. Okay, he's gonna, he's, he, he had he two of them. The fifth right now. Oh bro. my god, bro, he, he, he what he did is he he read the Twitter questions. He realized that he actually has two hats and that he was going to try to trick us, and he did. <laughs> I, I, I have, I have a follow-up like... question to this. Do you double bag when you use condoms? Oh my god. <laughs> no. No. Okay. No. Just, okay. Just if, you did, if you did, if you did, this is a question too by uh, Rennie. I think Rennie. So yes, yeah, so Rennie. By the way, if you did have sex, would you keep the panda hat on? Oh, it's no, absolutely. Yeah, well, it never comes off, so. <laughs> You know, what if she's like a yeah? You, you gotta keep it on, you know, especially if she's a big fan. Yeah, it depends. Yeah. yeah, maybe if it's a viewer, you know. Pause. No, people. People legitimately, there are viewers that are like, "Do you go out with the hat?" And I'll like straight face be like, "Oh yeah, I'd never take it off." And I think there's people that legitimately think that I like wear this everywhere. That's that's pretty antique, right? Yeah. I mean, that guy but, thought that you actually hated Hamzy, so it's I mean, it's fair, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, yeah. I don't wear it everywhere. It's just like the first time I met T. Papa, he wasn't wearing the glasses. I'm just like, put the fucking glasses I, dude, on, dude. The first time I, I saw T. Papa without the glasses on. was in the, uh, I think it was the Thanksgiving vlogs. He didn't have them. And the way like, you guys talk about it is like 9-11. It's kind of weird. 
<laughs> you know what? I, I like, I like. I remember glasses. where I was when I saw T Papa without his glasses for the first time. Like, I was like, down. Yeah, T Papa's glasses are my 9 11. Yeah, Mine, I, dude, got me, bro. bro, I remember that when we went to Arizona, we, uh, me, Jake, C, Ignoble, and Olive all landed around the same time, right? Am I getting that group right, Ignoble? Yep. We, no, Hamzy was there too. Hamzy was oh, there. Oh, it was Hamzy, not all of my bad. So it was us three and Jake C. Jake. It was us yeah. three and Jake. Yep. And we landed and uh, we found each other and you guys were all like, yeah, I looked at you and had no idea who the fuck you were. And then we sent that pic yeah. to the base Discord <laughs> and Tasty was like, who's that guy? <laughs> And I, was I like, remember seeing you. I remember seeing you. You were like, I'm, I'm, you were texting in the Discord, like, yeah, we're at this terminal. And I look over and I see this guy waving at me. And I was like, who the fuck is this? Like, <laughs> He's about to try and then I saw you, Jake C behind you. And I was like, oh, that's Jake C. Okay, that's T Papa. Now I get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I still I wore know. my glasses on stream then. Yeah, and you wore them like, every time. So it's fair, honestly. Do you know how you hard that was time. for so long? Oh my God, it was the worst. I couldn't see. I was getting headaches. It was so bad. Dude, yeah, it's quite the commitment, man. You were committed for a I, long like, time. Do, do you understand the respect I have for the doc purely on the sunglasses? Oh, yeah. I, That's oh, kind of how I feel about Beggar with nice. the hat, dude. Dude, same. Dude, the hat, because I had a beanie too, right? It was so hot. My head was on fire, dude. I was just sweating <laughs> profusely the whole stream. Are you sweating profusely the whole stream? So my secret, I have a window unit, so it's like 65 in oh, here right now. That's, so I'm actually that's it's low cold key as key. Bad. I get that. In yeah, my in my yeah. old room, I had a window so unit, cool. and I could wear hoodies and you shit. Just get a fan. I have a fan that goes. My, my head doesn't sweat. My legs and ass sweat. So I have a, really? I have a fan running next to me. So, my balls sweat. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. That's what I do. Cross sweats fucking sucks in the middle of a stream, bro. Yeah, it's there was super a time. Uncomfortable. There was a time when um, it's like I think it was like last year where my air conditioning unit was broken. So I was in my apartment. It was eighty something fucking degrees in here, and I'm streaming, and I'm just like, not fit visually perspiring on here, but my fucking balls were just wet. It was a fucking puddle of water where my balls were, and I was just like, this is the most uncomfortable Aww. fucking feeling I've had. <laughs> Do you have like a you have a leather seat chair or? No, I don't. Uh, oh. Thanks for asking about it. But this is a um. Oh, there we go. This is a Herman Miller herd. Oh, oh yes, yes. Oh. Sitting in my Herman Wait, Miller. He knows how to guys, sit. But I do not have a standing Damn, desk. Damn, what chair do you, do you have a Herman Miller, bro? All these guys got Herman Millers. No, dude, I got the Staples chair. You got the hiking? <laughs> yeah, I don't know yeah. what it is, but shit fucking sucks. Bro, he feels nothing. It doesn't matter what he has, bro. He could literally be sitting on a stool and he'd be fine. That's He's true. <laughs> Hamzy's <laughs> actually bro. built different, so I don't care. Yeah. <clears throat> Hamzy doesn't care about fucking ergonomics. His body is... Just my neck's broken uh, anyway. I wanted to pull this question from Mr. Lukey. Also, shout out to him for making the funny edits. I'm sure he'll have plenty of content this week to make. Oh my wrong. god. Um, I, I get you're... worried that he stresses over making great content because in my stream he came, he was like, Yeah, bro, I was stressing. And I was like, Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, the 38 word uh, count there, well, you know, it's tough to find something, but he found something. Yo, I'm, yo, I'm happy, Lukey, you know? if you're stressing out over it, it's okay. All right. Don't kill yourself. But those edits. <laughs> It's what I jerk off to, so keep him coming, buddy. <laughs> I mean, he somehow ups it every single dude, time, he's too. Actually, like, they get better and dude, better. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, go look at our social medias, and we always retweet him. He's on Twitter as at Lukey underscore JD. And he oh, it's, takes... It's, it's, it's at JD Lukey. Oh, thank at you so JD much for Lukey. fixing that. His name is Lukey underscore JD, but his uh, yeah. handle is JD he, Lukey. Yeah. He takes what all. we say completely out of context, and just like last week, he made... Whale looked like the biggest racist ever. Like, it was so great. Like, you guys got to go watch. Like, I don't... Maybe... I, I'll remember to message QD to me put his shit down below, too, as well, because that shit's so funny. What, what are your the, thoughts uh, on racism, T-Papa? What, 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 what are you trying to say? The here? next question is, if you were arranged for you behemoth to square off in the octagon, would you do it, beggar? Oh, shoot, man. I've seen that guy's legs. I could totally sweep the leg. Um... Yeah, yeah, I mean, that'd be you, good. If you get on him, I mean, what is it? What's he gonna do? It's over. I mean, I mean, all he eats is plants. I mean, what is he gonna do? <laughs> yeah, honestly, gonna fucking, he's fucking vegan, you know? bro. You could just you could twist him in half. I would not bite into him, but dude, <laughs> easy. Yeah, he keeps putting all these clips of me like shadow boxing on there, and, and I've seen I've seen several comments <laughs> like, "Oh, who's bigger gonna fight now?" And I'm like, <laughs> dude, radish, radish keeps saying stuff. He's like, 
Oh, Beggar's gonna fight me for a thousand. I'm like, bro, Radish, you're like if... seven foot tall, bro. <laughs> yeah, that would be the best You and Radish just beating the chef toy boxing gloves on would be fucking content, honestly. Dude, Radish is a giant, bro. He's a big boy. Radish is 6'5. He's, he's, he's a big boy. Not he's tiny. tiny. He's a big boy. Wait, Radish is 6'5. He's giant. I'm about six foot. I'm yeah, Radish, Radish is a big boy. <laughs> it was really funny, though, because I got dinner with him one night at TwitchCon and we had like. Maybe like two drinks, and he was like, "I'm starting to feel it." <laughs> That's, That's a crazy. dad. That's a dad as fuck right there. Oh, I loved it, man. I loved it. He was great. <laughs> yeah, we spent a good time talking about you, actually. Speaking baby, of, we, gotta, we, gotta, we, gotta, right. we should definitely have him on at some point. That'd be a great yeah, podcast yeah. as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we should I, have him I, on I, with Ginger Beardy. I don't know about that, Chief. I was going to say we should have had him on with Becker. <laughs> Can you oh, imagine? Yeah, oh, yeah. Listen, we're going to run out of people eventually. We can't just be having them together. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> then we're going to have to start fucking recycling. We're going to have to start bringing like, T-Papa's wife on as our special guest. That'd be a good guest. T-Papa's wife. If you'd like to see T-Papa's wife on the podcast, type T-Papa's wife in the comments. If you're still Thank listening. You. She'd do it. Anyway, did really? you have a question, Ignoble? Probably. I did. I wanted to pull something from the Twitter thread if you guys were already, yeah. if you guys wrapped up this last one. Somebody yeah. asks Frankie with a bunch of fucking, I don't know if this is a bot, but <laughs> did you actually break your arm on a pillow? Man, okay. Uh, no, no. <laughs> well, here's what happened. I have these What's big. What's the story? Yeah. Uh, I got these like, you got, you know, the bamboo pillows. I have like a really big one and they're, they're like, they're heavy. They're, this thing's like 15 pounds. Okay. And um, when I sleep, sometimes I'll put like one on each side of me and do like this kind of like this. <laughs> so okay. I woke up and the pillow was like between me and getting out of the bed. So I, I went to grab it like this and I tossed it like a Frisbee. And when I <laughs> and when I did that, I um, I like fractured my wrist. <laughs> it like snapped really loud. And um Ooh. Yeah, oh. yeah. So everyone yeah, made like fun of me the, for that. The throwing wrist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, I grabbed it, and I, like, tossed it like a Frisbee. And it's, like, 15 uh. pounds. So, like... Yeah. So when your wrist came over, it snapped. Yeah, it, like, went pop. And then... Uh, uh, you know. I don't know that's, if you can... Uh, that's a scary issue. You, you can't really see it anymore, but there is, like, a big... You can kind of see, like, this was, like, popping out, like, crazy. But this was a yeah, long time God, ago. This was, like, a year ago. I, you just, okay, that, yeah, that's unfortunate. And I, had to, I, I had to wear a brace. I went to the doctor, <laughs> and they're like, what did you do to your wrist? And I'm like, oh, well, there was this pillow. And <laughs> and then I had to wear a brace for a long time, so everybody made fun of me. But it's finally better. It's finally good. So full strength. But yeah, the, so you the broke your thing. arm on a pillow. Yeah, I broke my <laughs> arm on a pillow. My hardcore died to a ladder. Those are everyone's favorite. Favorite joke. Tell us about the hardcore death to the ladder. I yeah, see a so lot of there's... people talk about it in your chat, but wait, Hamzy, do you not know the ladder? Okay, you bastard. Anyways, <laughs> there's this. Uh, there's a. Uh, it's sea slug. Basically, there's a ladder, and oh my you have God. to you have to light a torch before you go up the ladder. Oh, dude, ain't no way, dude. So I had I had this hardcore. He was like oh, level ten. Bro. He's ten HP. And a random event pops up, and it's yelling. It was the grave digger, so he's like waddling around like the zombies on the dock, and he's yelling at me. And what had happened is, I click the ladder. I'm reading chat. I look back over. I'm at half health, and there's this guy yelling at me. So I think I'm getting like attacked by a quest boss, right? And I'm like, oh, oh shit! And I'm spam clicking the ladder to get away from him, but the ladder it has like a delayed animation where you climb it really slow and. I did it twice in a row, and I died to a ladder. <laughs> it's, actually my, it's actually like my most viewed YouTube video. It's got it's got like over fifty thousand views, and it's just me planking to a ladder. So. I'm lucky, pissed, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> the disrespect so you bring sorry. upon hardcore, dude. Holy shit! Yeah, that's when I think. You know what? I made another one after that. <laughs> but that, that's that the one you play on now. That's the one I play on now. That one died to Briafita. Oh, I oh, watched man. that death live. <laughs> that was horrendous. Dude, I don't know what. <laughs> Listen, I got no defense. The first one I defend. I'm like, this could have happened to anybody. If I you see were my, reading I, your chat. I think, I think any uh, member of the dumbest shit gang could die to a ladder. Honestly, I get it. The <laughs> right, Briofida right. was just like, you're, you, you, just, you went in unprepared. Dude, you just didn't brain, care. 
dude, the face I was making on that clip, I literally was like this. And like, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. There's no explanation. I, I just, and that's when I realized the hardcore life was, was not for me. Yeah. But I've come a long way, guys. I'm killing Hydra now. Okay. On a hardcore? No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, hey, hey, this is the first podcast I think where I'm ranked at top. Okay. I was going to say, bro, I was, as soon as you brought up the hardcore, I knew this guy, he's, he's off the sauce down there. He's going to start talking about his fucking hardcore. You just don't give him an opportunity, okay, bro? He's, I'm he's really cooked, and I, like, can you, can I get a, like, I understand, like, maybe on the scale of Twitch, like, I'm not the best RuneScape player compared to Tasty and other GMers, but, dude, I'm right, I'm ranked at top, and there's only 130 other people that have done that. That's kind You're of insane, killing, right? Man. Listen, I'm doing CG, and I think my KD right now, I've got, like, 55 deaths <laughs> and, like, 20 completions, so... I mean, I know yeah, you'll you're... be nice to me, beggar, but Prison Joe, is, isn't it? It's kind of badass, no? No, it's, it's an accomplishment for sure, 100%. Ignoble, what's so funny? Oh, oh God. I'm, I'm surprised that Seth just so quickly was quickly quick to praise you. That's Thank just you. Not... That's just, I just... Thank God, you. I just need to, like... I told him it's I, impressive. I understand it's, it's funny. It's I understand impressive. it's funny when we're live, but, like, just a little bit of respect for ranked at top. Like, God damn. <clears throat> no, I've only hate I swear. respect for the Tom, but uh, uh, everything out. else, yeah. People were flaming me for posting about my uh, dragon pickaxe on Twitter. I only got hate comments. Oh, oh, I man. forgot that I I saw it and forgot to drop a hate comment. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little sad. Like about I didn't the, uh... I didn't think I like when I posted that I didn't even think that I was posting about like a lesser accomplishment. I was just like, oh shit, dude. Uh, people that like maybe don't tune in the stream that often can see I have a dragon pickaxe now, and people were like, you're a bitch for not going to the wilderness, and I was like, oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh my bad, I forgot. Like I didn't I didn't make that connection but, when I did that tweet and like I was just like I got a notification like oh this person commented and I read it and I was like oh, that was kind of mean and then like 10 minutes later I got another one and I was like what the fuck is going on man? Like <laughs> I thought this was cool. <laughs> But yeah, I, just, I mean, I don't know. I mean, in, in your defense, if you go in the wilderness, you could have died. You took the easier route. I mean, what, what, what's yeah, the well, really? I thought yeah. I'd take the smart route. No, I'm, I, I think it, it's like, obviously smarter hardcore, to the kill. The point of playing at hardcore is not to die, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm replying to this guy that said option? not impressive, and I'm not saying no impressive. diary, though. <laughs> <laughs> No, the top so that, good, if you did, if you get that. the top on a hardcore and you and you rack up double digit KC, that's impressive. That's accomplishment for sure. Shout the fuck out. Yeah. All right, definitely, hundred percent. That's all I need. No doubt. I appreciate you, you, that. You play, you play for good content. You make good content, but you're also you know actually pushing yourself and doing cool shit. You know that's yeah. Thank good you. streamer. Okay, good. I like that. You've, you've, like, you've made it. You've made it farther than probably eighty five percent of hardcore Ironman who make probably more than that. Probably like ninety something. Probably ninety, dude. Yeah, 90 dude. 90 I mean, bro, there's here. only a hundred and thirty people are ranked at top, and there's million hardcore. I think there's at least a couple hundred thousand. And the next question from the real All Ranger: <laughs> Why do you hate Mod Ash's backwards elbows? Uh, this is fake, bro. I love Mod. Here's a, nobody. My chat didn't know about Mod Ash's backwards elbows. We were talking about you the other day. You guys heard it here. Beggar hates Mod Ash. He is going to fight him at RuneFest. What? Wow. What's going to happen? I pay. No, there's the, there's the emoting game where the elbows go backwards, and like yeah. people didn't know what it was. I'm like, that's Mod Ash, dude. That's Mod Ash's backwards elbows. And I was given nothing but praise. That, that Wait, what emote is this that you're talking about? Um, it's in the game. you said that he's kind of like, uh, he kind of like, Ascends RuneScape as I mean he's like the probably the most like prominent likable employee for Jagex for oh, yeah. he's kind of like sure. like, one hundred yeah and the poor just... guy responds to all these people on Twitter <laughs> every day I don't know oh, why man, I'm but sure... sometimes he's so funny sometimes his responses are hilarious dude he's so good he's, he's like the best PR person that's not a PR person he's a wizard bro I, I would oh, love yeah. to meet him one day I really hope I can before I die I would like to meet yeah, him no. Mod Ash. No, I love I love Mod Ash's backwards elbows okay fair enough okay yeah sorry I'm I'm good with questions on if anybody else sees uh, um, I got uh, one covered a lot yeah. of them but yeah go ahead uh, can you tell us about how you almost burned your house down oh man <laughs> Bro, you trying to do the Radish Boy partner metal? I, yeah, I, I was the uh, I was the original. This was this was so long ago. I was a joke. 
No, it basically, wasn't. he was partnered by then. That was not a joke. <laughs> no, I don't think. I, no, I wasn't partnered yet. And I know I wasn't partnered because it was my top most viewed clip. They wrote articles. Look up, look up, beggar official fire right now. It's like the. Top. I, mean, beg, I mean, Radish was, but yeah. oh, 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 he oh. wasn't. He wasn't partnered. He no, wasn't he was. No, he I'm wasn't. sure he was. Wasn't no, he, he wasn't. He was not partnered. Maybe I'm tripping. Baba made the emote. It's on. It's on Dexard, whatever this thing is called. Twitch streamer uh, yeah. embarrassed after nearly lighting de desk on All right. fire. All right. Really? So what happened is this was super early on when I first started streaming. People were like, "You need merch. Like, get make merch. We want to buy stuff." And I like blew my nose in a Kleenex, and I was like, "Here's your freaking merch, chat." All right, start the bidding. And I was just being stupid, and nobody bid on it. And I was like, "That's it." I, I called it the beggar booger. And um, nobody wanted to buy it. <laughs> and so I said, I'm, I'm recalling the merch. And I lit this tissue on fire. And I was thinking I could blow it out like a candle. Like, it's Ew. just a tissue. <laughs> and so I blew it. And it, and it exploded into flames. <laughs> and and Wait, fell like... Was there a clip like, of this? There's a clip of this? There was, was the clip. I deleted it when I applied for partner because I was afraid it would be, like, endangering oh, yourself or whatever. There is... There is... I, I can't... There is a clip that had, like, a way less views that snuck by, and I think it is gaining views. I can link it to you. But, yeah, there is a clip, and I my shirt catches on fire, and um, I dropped on my desk, and my desk caught on fire, and then... It was fine. The shirt, I just wiped out the fire off the shirt and then I put water on it. But yeah, that was bad. That was um, that was really early on. And then yeah, everybody was calling me the Florida man and <laughs> stuff like that. So it was good. It was good. Oh, that's great. Well, yeah. that's sick. That's, that's fucking hilarious. That's sick. Yeah, don't play with fire. That's a, that's a, yeah. Yeah, Immediately, the, in, in, in fact, in the clip, in the clip, I run off stream and like, I'm, I, as soon as I did it, I knew I'm like, oh my god, I'm the I'm the guy, and I, I as I'm like running off stream to grab water, I'm like, I'm gonna be the guy on the internet with a fire in his house, and I and I come back and douse the fire, but yeah, it was it was bad. <laughs> that article though is hilarious. They really did research, like. They knew my RSN and like all kind of like weird little details about the stream. So I don't know if it's like a viewer or if they just like watched a bunch of clips. I don't know. Mm. You said it's day. He was on Dextero. You yeah, just no type one? in like beggar official fire. It's like the but, top well, one. They used like, the, they like, used the like a news. serial. They used like a serial killer photo of me too. I don't know how they got that photo, but there's this photo of me like with this deranged smile on. It's rough. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Um, should we ask you Papa's question? Have you ever been arrested? Oh, yeah, no, boring story there. I've not been arrested. Okay, I have been pulled over so. like over 30 times, though. Like, Ooh, damn, what for? For what? Speed? All, dude, all kind. I think what it is is I just was out a lot late, like a lot when I was like first started driving, and I had like an older car, and I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like I feel like maybe the cops were bored in my town or something because, yeah, I got pulled over so much. I got pulled over for um, it was mostly tag lights because I had like uh, I had like two 16 inch subs in my car and they would like burst out the light bulb a lot. Um, but I would replace it like immediately. So I got pulled over a lot for that rolling stop signs. One guy pulled me over to check the tent on my windows. Um, Jesus fucking Christ. I got yeah, pulled over for swerving. I got pulled over for live? swerving. Where do you live? It's like in the middle nobody? of nowhere. Okay, yeah. yeah they're okay. bored yeah. as fuck, It's like bro. the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and so one night, one night I got pulled over swerving, but it, like, it was because I was near a bar. I wasn't at the bar, but I feel like he was trying to get DUI stuff or whatever because I'm like, I know I wasn't swerving. Um, Is he's that like, true, Seth? Do you guys camp outside uh, bars? No, but if he's living in a small town, those this is like are probably yeah. Super this was like the yeah. only place open this yeah. late. It was like it was like two a.m. So it was like probably, the only place yeah. open. So you could sitting outside. You of could see waiting. a cop lurking near a bar in a small town late at night. Oh, for sure, hundred okay. percent. Easy. Yeah. yeah, but what else? And then I got. Do? There's nothing else to do. You hear that? Based <laughs> after dark listeners that are drunk drivers, <laughs> keep that in mind. <laughs> that is, that's true. Yes. If you... One time I got pulled over for um. They were like my vehicle matched the description of like a kidnapper. And so bro, they like pulled us. Bored, they pulled us over. I had like a car, a car full of people. There's like five. Five. Uh, it was five of us. And 
like one of them went back to the run the plates and stuff and the insurance and all that. And the other one like stayed at the car, like at the driver's side. Right. And this was this is a lot. This is an old story. This was like when the, the one of the f- first iPhones came out with like Siri and they were like, oh, is that the new is that the new Siri thing? And I was like, oh, yeah, it's a new Siri. And back when Siri first came out, there was like this Easter egg where you could be like, hey, Siri, I need to bury a body. And then Siri would be like, what kind of place are you looking for? Dumps, harbors. And like she would like give you like locations and then she would GPS you to drive there. OK, and so we showed the cop that and he thought it was really funny. But now if you ask Siri, say, hey, Siri, I need to dump a body. She'll be like, I used to know the answer to that. But yeah, anybody so never on hand. Anybody never, never Try. arrested. I also got a ticket for going uh, 15 and a 10. Hey, Siri. Yeah, they're super bored there. That's that is a small <laughs> town. Small town Man, she is police. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it was, it was off, but then I got a, But you know what's crazy? I got an, another car eventually. Never got pulled over once. So I think it's like the car. I don't know. Probably the car. That definitely has an impact on it. That is an old, an old the Oldsmobile. Do uh, they do? Uh, they definitely looking for certain it, vehicles. That is true. It was, uh, it was an Oldsmobile Alero. <laughs> All right, I never, I know never to buy one of those. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll stick think, to my uh, Accord, and I have not been pulled over in this car yet. Shout out! I got the Accord as well. Mine's older than yours, though, probably. But uh, yeah, I think I think we've answered everything. I mean, this got a lot of questions, but most of these we answered throughout. Yeah. Um, Beauty. Maybe if you, you already told goals you wanted to be more active on Twitter as one of your goals, which is a good segue. Yeah, buddy. Ah, oh, shoot. Twitter workshop. That's right. Oh, God. Okay. That's correct. Um, well, I, I can kick this one off thanks to uh, the one we came up with earlier. Go ahead, Dick Rider. Send it. Redemption <laughs> Proc <laughs> is like the RuneScape Puke and Rally. That's good. Yeah, I, yeah you got to gotta send that. No, I, I like it the other way. Puke and Rally is like redemption. Or, so, hold on. S- say it again. Say it again. I was gonna say redemption proc is like the RuneScape puke and rally. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Fuck it. Said it. We ball. I like it. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seth, what are you bringing in today? Just puke and rallied. Wait, 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 wait. I just puked and rallied. All that a redemption proc. Maybe that will be better too. You could go that way also. It's, it's how you want. It's how you want to cook it. What do you? What, which way? Yeah. Do you like? Hmm. I just puked and rallied. Call that a redemption proc. I feel like that's kind of like that. Concise, yeah. Also, it's kind of on brand with some of the. That's like a. That's a pretty standard format. Yeah. yeah. Like switching just around puked the and rallied. Shit. Call that a redemption IRL or some shit like that. I go with the proc, but that's up to you. Proc, proc, yeah, that works too. Yeah. You want mine? Well, yeah. Let's 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 hear you, Seth. What do you got? Okay, I got two. Let me, let me pull up the drafts here. <laughs> my first one is, yes, I want a finger in my ass. How else is she going to hold on? <laughs> That's a banger. <laughs> Where'd you get that from? I fucking heard that in someone's stream. If you're not tweeting, yeah, I want it. Kerber That's said that stream? in my stream. That's a Kerber, okay. That's a Kerber chat a tweet there. My other one is Kim Q clapped when the plane landed at TwitchCon San Diego. Oh my god. <laughs> you can, bro. Oh, can I have one of them? Damn, those are both bangers. <laughs> That's so fucked up. That's so fucking I, like that one. I, I love the Kim Q jokes, but I went when I met him, he's so nice. And I'm just like, damn, dude, we just roast no, him way too nice, hard. But it, it's it, but he would definitely clap when the plane lands. Oh. Come on now. No, that's the worst part. 110%. He's definitely a clapper when the plane lands, but like he's such a good guy. <laughs> he is. No, I liked him a lot at TwitchCon. Do I go with the Kim Q? Or what is good with it? Go uh, ahead. Finger in the it. ass. The I, like, I like this. I like the finger in the ass one a little more. I don't know. Finger in the ass one's better. You think so? Yeah, save the Kim Q one maybe for next week or just one in a couple days. Daytime. Yeah, just, just, just wait for Kemp to tweet something like wild and when it like really takes off. Do I put any emojis with this? I just put yes, I want to finger my ass, comma, how else is she going to hold on? The question mark. Zany face. I feel like a zany face would be funny. What's but zany I feel like Unix is, is better at this than I am. 
Oh, maybe I put the with the little out the little eyeglass, you know, the little the little you know what I'm talking about <laughs> the monocle like, emoji. Yeah, the monocle. Yeah. <laughs> what about that? I think that's good. I'll do that. Send it. Okay. All right, Tipapa, what what type of uh, garb? I'm sorry, Twitch. Do you have this week? This is either a banger or just a complete miss, and I don't know. You ready? <laughs> Oh, go ahead. oh, so you're a Capricorn? That's cool. How about you go fuck yourself? <laughs> what? <laughs> the fuck? And send. <laughs> I like that. I like. I like that. Honestly. Oh, thank I you. Like it was either a massive yeah. miss or a massive banger. And this whole week, I, I've been looking at it like, dang, I still don't fucking know. <laughs> I like, I like that. Right, I'll send but, it. Thank I'm you. gonna be honest. I think that's fucking awful. I'm just gonna say it, dude. That was disgusting. I kind of like. Will it. you still like it though? Games, what do you think? I'll, I will like it. I'm on your side, but Thanks, man, it's a good. It's like a, a T. It's on brand for T. Papa too. It's on brand. The Capricorn that kind of offends me. Oh, you're I'm a Capricorn? Capricorn? Oh me shit. Me too, bro. That's actually why I don't want it. Yeah, it's okay. Ain't I'll no go fuck way. Myself. You guys are both Capricorns. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Pisces bros for life. I don't know. We were doubled up Pisces, doubled up Capricorns. I don't know what either, Ham. So, you know what? We should start a podcast about, you know, like Capricorn bros or something. We should. Shut the fuck up. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's me and Seth's thing, dude. Shut up. <laughs> it's true. I, apparently, like in the. Uh, what oh, is that dude, called again? Bro, I just looked up uh, Capricorn and Pisces compatibility, uh, love, sex, friendship, and more. Shout the fuck out. Oh, hell yeah. Well, we have all that. Apparently we women. fuck each other then. 89% uh, love compatibility between us. And 94% okay. sexual compatibility. I was going to say. Dude, I knew it. I knew it. Though, Pete Papa, I apparently women, women hate Pisces men. It's like a meme that like Pisces men are terrible or something. We are though, low key. Yeah, we're just him, you know. It is we, what it is. We are him, but him is also hated by, by women, so. Yeah. Mm. And on today of all days, so sad. Well, it, mom, it, we're past that. We're past least. that, you know. Thank you, mom. All right, anyone yeah, else got a tweet? I got, I got one. Um, oh, have you guys? Have, have you, <laughs> hey man, fuck you. <laughs> have you guys heard this song on YouTube, which is just like, and this is where my thing comes from. Shorty bad with a Skechers on. Is that the tweet? That's fucking garbage. That, okay, you know what. Yeah, right? Am I am I a alone in there? And, and the cast, <laughs> goddamn! I'm fucking... creaking on my soundboard. I'm gonna play it, bro. Bro, that was so bad. Is that where we end the cast? Is that where? Is that what? I don't know. I want to hear what Beggar has. Feet? Like actually, no, 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 you can't know. Beggar hasn't gone yet. We can't I was gonna say, it's oh, fucked I, up. I, I, Beggar guys, knows. Guys. Beggar comes prepared. Right, Beggar? guys. There's a re there's a reason I don't tweet. <laughs> like, um, my my. My favorite pie is is pizza pie. I got nothing. I'm sorry. Help me, please. Give me something. You want the Kim? You want the Kim Q tweet? You want to use that one? Oh my oh god. god! You imagine <laughs> beggar just you send the Kim Q tweet? just calls out no. and in the same stroke destroys Kim Q on Twitter <laughs> in one tweet out of nowhere. <laughs> Reddit. Oh my god, dude! I'd send that shit to Behe. Oh god, bro. <laughs> God damn. Send it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so good night. That was uh Yo, one of the thank, greatest podcasts of all time, yeah. I Thanks think I think this guys. is the one I refer people to go to watch. I will say, can we yeah. end with this? Beggar, give one word to describe your experience tonight. One singular word. Wow, it was um, it was lovely. Thank you guys. It was um, lovely. That's it. Treat. Are you serious? All right, we're gonna give you ten podcast. seconds. Oh, get, oh, get, no, 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 no. I'm gonna give him redemption. I'm gonna give him redemption. This is a base. Ten base seconds. Podcast, think dude. about it, bro. No, not base. Okay. No suck up. Like mm. one word. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you're honest. Mm. You're honest word, bro. Rail, okay. rail us. Just make fun of us. Um.
it was it was pretty this was long guys this was very long <laughs> i'm out of ideas i got nothing this was listen you said three hours we're here for four Same long is the word yeah. long is, is long <laughs> listen i got it you guys were five minutes late we said midnight it, it's been four hours all right I'm out. thank you so much appreciate you throw me on bigger official twitch uh, thank you